we're born, we're blue. We're, we're just coordinated noticed. again. That's so funny. We either, we're either coordinated or we totally clash. Mm-hmm. Of yeah. course, what are the other options? <laughs> you either, you know, you either, either clash or well. match. Yeah. I know, it's funny. Bob and I, you know, got dressed and ready this morning to come here, and he was wearing blue also. I'm like, oh my gosh, we're both wearing blue. It's a blue day. It's a blue day. When is it not a blue day? Well, we have blue skies. That's true. We actually have blue skies for once, though. And it's going to be 70-something today. Yeah. Yeah, so we got to get this done. <laughs> so we've got to take all our clothes off. <laughs> yeah. He, our 70-degree. Go jump in your little he, oh, uh, man-made. Is that whatever we No, call it's it? not man-made. It's, like, legit. It's like, legit. That's natural. why it's so icky. Because okay. <laughs> it's God-made. It's made. all natural. <laughs> no, it's all natural. <laughs> well, I mean, it's got, you know... Mm-hmm. It's got stuff in living it. Living things. They live in a lot of living creatures. things. Um, frogs. Mm-hmm. We hear a lot of frogs. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm yeah. sure. We always hear frogs at our house, too. There's just lots of... I, I almost think. feel like it's biblical times plague type frogs, though. It's like, <laughs> wow, there's a lot of them out there. <laughs> they are loud. That's why uh, people go... Although like, I prefer you can frogs, have then where is it in the United States? It has like those... Deca- what are those called? Oh, the... C- what, c- are, what are they c- called? I don't know. The c- can cut, I don't know. Okay. Sticate, no, I don't know what they're called. People are probably saying they're like know. they're like the big grasshopper kind of thing. Yes. Things. Yeah. But to me, that is such an annoying sound. I don't think I could live with that every day. Yeah, I don't know. Sticatas? Maybe. Is that what it is? Help no, us out, guys. I don't know what it's called. Comment now. But I prefer frogs. I think over that sound because yeah, that's just know. like it's like I don't know. It's like almost like makes you crazy. Well, um, the the as many as we have out there, yeah. there was. One day in particular, mm-hmm. like I was used to hearing them at night, yeah. but one day they were even going nuts. And I was like, what's going on? That's insane. They're, That's they're coming for us. They are. They're going to take over the world. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're the naughty, we're the naughty nitwits. We, yeah, we predict frog. Well, frog takeover. Frog takeover. <laughs> oh, boy. Pandemic of frogs. It could happen. I it mean, because anything can they've happen. got the whole monkey thing coming now. The monkey so, thing's coming, yeah. Just mm-hmm. in time for... Uh, for the administration at hand to hand over our yes. sovereignty to the who. That's right. That's right. So they That's can right. dictate how yes. our, um, but we don't want to talk about all that no, because we no. want to be happy here. That's right. We're happy. <laughs> Damn it. We're happy. happy we just keep all of our attention on our knitting mm-hmm. and crocheting. And, yeah. Which you'll see isn't even true. No, it was it's not true. Us a pro- well, no, uh, you, no, you I, actually no, don't have knitting. much of a pile. I don't have, well. The pile's pretty small. Well, yeah, mm-hmm. I haven't been doing a ton of different stuff. No, oh, you haven't been doing it. Haven't been okay. doing a lot. Like I've been, been focused. I've been kind of focused. Nice. There's a reason oh, for it. Okay. Interesting. Well, let's get started because. Okay. Um, so who are you? Michelle and I'm Leslie. Yeah, I'm Michelle, and it's okay that some people call us by the wrong names. We really don't care. We don't care. It's all right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can right. do whatever. Yeah. I have to give a quick shout out. Because okay. I had some friends at work ask me to give a shout out, so I have to shout out to Alex. Chilo and Terry. So, Alex, Chilo, Chilo and, and Terry. Terry. Yes. Consider yourselves shouted yes. out. Yes, you are shouted <laughs> out. Are you shouted at? Shout, well, I do shout their names sometimes. Do you? Okay. Yes, it works. So, yeah. Well, you've been yeah. officially All shouted out names, on the Naughty you know. Nuggets. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so. Hope you're feeling good right about yeah. now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's going to go downhill from here, so you might as well just know. shut it down. Well, that's why I thought I'd give them a shout-out now, so it gives them an excuse to just tune out. Right. So they've got the shout-out, well, I mean, how much turn it off. more could there be worth listening to for them? That's right. Well, you never know if we're going to talk about them later on. You know? It could happen. There's always stories from work, you know, so... But so you guys better behave yourselves because we will hear about it. They don't behave We're, themselves. But, I'm sure. Yeah, they're, they're, they'd fit right in with the naughty nitwits. Uh-huh. They're naughty, so yeah. Oh boy. Yes. Yeah, so anyway. All right. On to knitting. What are on you to knitting on? or crocheting. Well, Finishing I don't know. Or... Had I finished a sock? I don't think you had okay. finished it, but we were admiring how beautiful. Were it you? Was. It's so okay. Pretty. Yeah. Worthy of admiration, my it husband. Is worthy of admiration. He's put me on the guilt trip though constantly because really? well because. This is the other one. <laughs> oh, so he's waiting. He wants for to. It. Yeah, I don't know why. Men are so demanding. I know. <laughs> no, it's been fun to knit on, but I've been mm-hmm. doing something else. So I'm, I'm almost to the second heel, okay. and I feel like once you turn that corner, mm-hmm. then you're good. Yes. Yes. I just gotta, just turn gotta power on. Yeah. Because well, what the problem is, I love this yarn. Yeah. I do. I mean, mm-hmm. like, I think it's pretty and it's nice oh, to work pretty. with, mm-hmm. but. 
Do you see any color changes? No, no. there's no stripes here, so I'm bored. See, we're getting spoiled with all these beautiful like crochet blankets and changing colors and using yes. linens all the time and, and the scrappy socks. And, and I usually do self-striping. Yes. I don't usually knit Or scrappy. Or scrappy, scrappy. Yes. yeah, yeah. So yeah. yeah, this is like- Boring. Boring, but hello. Yeah, pretty. Very nice. He doesn't want self-striped yarn socks. I don't know why. Why doesn't he? I don't know. The pick, but, he's a picky male. Picky male. We haven't, de opinions. we haven't decided if he's knit worthy yet. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll find see. out. We'll find out. He I, does wear your hats though, right? Yeah, he I does. Think. Yeah. So that's pretty He wears his other hats more. Although it's funny. I was sitting there the night uh, crocheting on my blanket and my husband was like, my husband, I, it's so funny. I call him my husband, Bob. You know Bob. You guys know Bob. Yeah, Bob. So and he was like, he was mentioning something about my blanket. Oh, I think he asked who it's for. And I was like, it's for us, you know. And he probably was thinking, why? We have a million <laughs> blankets already. But he was, he mentioned something about he wanted me to make him one. And I was like, okay, you'd use it? Like, he never covers up with a blanket. Like, yeah. when he's sitting on his chair or whatever. And he was like, yeah, I'd like something, you know, made by you or whatever. And I'm like, okay. Like, it just kind of threw me because I'm like, I'm the one that's like, if I'm sitting on a chair or a couch, I'm either curled up with a blanket or I have something on, you know, something, a jacket or whatever. He's never like, you know, cuddled up, cuddled up with anything. So <laughs> it was just interesting for him to say that. So I don't know if he was serious or he was like, well, Michael did that with my granny score blanket. Did he? Yeah. He's like, I, I said something about. I don't even remember now yeah. because that wasn't the important part. His response was that he wanted it. And I was like, what? You, wait, Who what? Who are these guys? Yeah. Who are these people? You think this is yeah. going to get you lucky? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. They're thinking something. Yeah. Was, I just can't picture Bob curled up with a crochet blanket. I'm like, you've never, I'm the one that's like got blankets well, maybe everywhere. maybe he'd like to be and you've just never shared. Maybe. maybe. You've, de you've been depriving your husband oh all gosh, these years. I feel horrible. Not so really. I take it this one's going to be for him? <laughs> I guess. But I don't really believe him. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to finish it and we'll see. Yeah, tell him to prove it. Yeah, prove yeah. it. I need a picture. I need to see I it. need him to consistently use it like Log seven your hours nights in a row. And when yeah, you reach an acceptable level. Of, then I'll, then I'll oh. deem you as crochet worthy. Not net worthy, but crochet worthy. <laughs> there is a difference. Yeah, there is a difference. Because he still has my wool. I knit him years ago when you and I were like newer knitters. One winter, I knit everybody wool socks. They were thick, big, bulky, yeah. you know, wool socks and um, for Christmas gifts, I think. And so he still has them and I think he wears them if it's like, you know, Super 30, 30 below, yeah. which we never get. But, um, but other than that, they just sit in his drawer and, you know, so, which I guess, why wouldn't they sit in his drawer? I mean, obviously we don't have that kind of cold weather and he can't wear them to work because they're too thick. So anyway, he's just not somebody that's like cold that wears, you know little socks around the house or anything like that so I think that's the only thing I've ever knit for him and maybe a hat I think so I've, knit, I think I've knit him a beanie I have okay. knit him a beanie Did so he, wear it? he does he does have that tucked in his coat so oh it's tucked in his coat yeah and it, would have to, it, it would have to be cold enough for him to wear it again yeah. so I don't know he's just not cold-blooded yeah you know? Yeah. You still wear stuff and you get hot a lot, right? Yeah. And you still wear knitted stuff. Well, since having that fireplace, the yeah. wood, we had our wood stove put in and so... Now you're stripped down. Yeah, we, I'd, be, <laughs> I'd be... But what's funny is, you know, we haven't had cold enough weather to really justify it, but it's been nice to have going some mm -hmm. just with all the windows and doors open and yeah. I have shorts and a tank top, but... <laughs> <laughs> What's funny about it is that then after we stopped doing that for a few days, we just felt cold all the time. Totally. We Isn't like, that funny? Yeah. We're yeah. Like, There's no way it's 68 in here. I know. It feels freezing. We're so cold. Yeah. We need our fire going. We'd, we'd <laughs> acclimated so to the... I would never yeah. tolerate that if it was from the sun. I know. Isn't that you know? funny? I'd be like, turn on the AC. Totally. I can't stand this. It's so funny how it you is. do. You get used to that. Yeah. 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 All right. You show something. Well, I don't have much. Made out of yarn. So I just okay. have my crochet blanket right. and the poncho. Uh, you guys catch that. Yeah, you know, the, the poncho. poncho. So I don't know how much I've added. I don't either. But the other night, last it's, night, I was curled up under it. So it's definitely getting, it's it's, it's definitely wide enough. Okay. Like, you, oh. can, you know what I mean? You uh -huh. can fit two people under here. So maybe it'll be a Bob and Leslie blanket together. I don't know. Uh -huh. But I don't, it's still not, I don't think long enough, okay. you know? 
It could be a lap blanket a right now, but it needs oh. to be. This is totally laid. like okay. You're not going to put it on your king size bed. No, but and do you when you lay somewhere? Are you like stretched out toe to tip? You yes. know, tip of your head. Yes. You don't like. Yes. Bend your knees or anything. No, like oh. if I'm in my recliner and I'm reclined back and my feet are up. This needs to be able to cover my feet and come up to here. Oh my god, that's how I'm. Okay, it has to like be that long. High so it's got. I, I, <laughs> when it comes to blankets, yes, I'm high maintenance. So I feel like it needs to be longer, but I'm like. It'll be interesting to see how freaking wide this thing is once it's long enough for me. You know what I mean? Like, it's going to be really, really big. Yeah. Could you, um, never mind. See, that's the thing. It's just, it's just this huge square <laughs> right. that gets bigger and bigger. Yes. So it's like, you yeah. can't like stop right. growing the width without, right. you're going to be growing you, the yeah. depth too. So it's fine. I love working on it. So it's not like it's a labor of, you know, pain or anything, but, uh, we're glad you're yes. like, it's not And then it was fun. Yet. Cause I did put my hand it's spun big. in here too. This pink here. Oh yeah. Those two rows oh, fun. all the way around are my Aww. hand spun. So that was fun. It was fun to put hand spun in there too. So nice. Yeah. So I'm, I love it. I mean, it's mindless. It's fun. I love using all the minis. It's just, yeah. And that's why we do this because it's fun. Yes. I always have to remind myself that it really doesn't matter anything else. As long as you're yeah. enjoying it, who cares what your end result is? Exactly. And there's not a lot of things in life that you can say that about. It's true. It's like, true. you know, yeah. Like sometimes you do have to take into account, well, what's the end game here? Right. But with this, right. So what if it's a huge blanket? Exactly. Nobody's judging the size. No. On this. <laughs> size is good on this, according to me. I like bigger blankets, you know? I don't like small blankets. Who does? Who I, does? I do you know? sometimes you because, do. You do. Yeah. because if, if I have, if I'm sitting and I don't need warmth, but That's I want something over Oso, yeah. then I like to have yeah. a... Yeah. You need an Oso sized blanket. An Oso sized yeah. blanket. Yeah, that would work. Yeah. That would work. Something to keep his dog hair off of whatever That's true. I'm That's doing. That's true. Off of you. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, it gets on my lap, but it's, I have so much um, dog hair in my knitting mm. or my crochet. I was looking at a, um, at a dog hair yarn. Yeah. You know, <laughs> a site that takes, like, because I've seen other people that do it, and I think it's nice, the blankets that you knit for... Well, there's this one in particular for moms who um, lose their babies. Mm -hmm. And so you can, like, yeah. donate these blankets oh, for them neat. to have a little keepsake oh, kind of thing. that's cool. And yeah. they don't want them to be real big because it's, mm -hmm. like, to go into a little keepsake mm -hmm. box or something. And mm -hmm. I thought, you know, just I thought that was super that's sweet. Neat. yeah. But it says in the thing about, you know, no, make sure there's no pet hair in it, which oh, totally gosh. makes sense. Yeah, yeah. But that's not realistic it's for It's impossible me. for you. So... Yeah. Until I don't have a little Oso in my life, which, which yeah, is there life after Oso. There'd have to be another little There'd Oso in my life. So, yeah. so yeah. I just thought, okay, are that's, you getting another Oso? Not yet. We're, not yet. you know, you always think about it, but he's mm -hmm. he's got a big personality. Yes, he so, and he's high maintenance. Yes, he he's you know, <laughs> two of us All loving on him is <laughs> not enough. Probably about right because he does get to the point where he doesn't even want to be on either one of our laps. Really? Yeah, he'll just he go does? lay on the couch wow. or whatever. And His like, love tank is overflowing. His, yeah, exactly. Exactly. I've like, enough of these people. Uh, I say I want a dog. I know. I, uh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. But Bob doesn't want one. Well, you we'll really talk about that. Know. But then I work, so it's like, what that, do? that part sucks. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, how would I? Because they really do. Dog? I mean, it really does impact the length of time I'll leave mm -hmm. the house. And I mean, yeah. you guys know I don't like to leave anyway, but well, you know, sometimes you got to go outside. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, outside is fine, but if no, I have I to leave just... the bunker, then. <laughs> right. <laughs> And a lot of times we take him with us, totally. but there are things that yeah. I go do that I can't take him. Right, right. And he gets very butthurt about it, mm -hmm. and I feel bad, mm -hmm. and so... I know, Bob and I were at the beach a couple weekends ago, just for the weekend, and we were looking at shops and just shopping and stuff, and there was a gal standing outside with her two Labradoodles, and her husband was inside, and... I was talking to her about her Labradoodles, and I said, oh, I remember the days when we used to bring Sophie, and one of us would have to stay outside. Yep. While Take turns. One, yeah, yeah, and we hated that. Yeah. It was like, do you want to go in? No, forget it. You've already been in there for 20 minutes. Let's just keep yep. going. Yeah, exactly. And so that part's nice. I mean, that part's nice. But I feel like I've got kids that could watch the dog if we went somewhere, you know, so. I know. I don't that's, know. that's a tough one. It is. For us, it's an easier thing just because we've got all the other animals here totally, and yeah. so we're we're trapped here anyway yeah <laughs> i 
you ain't going anywhere. Now. <laughs> At least together, you're not. Right. Going exactly. We can do all things separately. Yes. Yes. So. Yes. Well, what have you been doing? Here? Well, I have been working on that uh, Mesa wrap. Yes. Romy Hill is the pattern designer, mm -hmm. and um, my opinion of this pattern, I realize she's a very popular mm -hmm. designer. Very designer. Yes. Yes. And so my opinion about this means nothing. I don't expect anyone to care about my opinion. We all care about, about this. Your opinion. You can. We can. We yeah. all care about your no, opinion. No, because I'm gonna say I think this pattern was written like the worst pattern I've ever. Wow. Because wow. it's all about the weight of the like how much. Mm -hmm. It never talks about how many inches you do or anything. Mm -hmm. It's all about how much you're supposed to weigh your yarn and oh. do this and do that. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like until until you're until down you have this. this much. Yes. No, I hate that. Yeah. Oh, it's ridiculous because yeah. number one, if you're not using the exact yarn that right. she used in her pattern right. or in her project, yeah, then you're off anyway. Right. Right. And if you want to do that, that's fine. But at least also put or knit to thirteen inches. Yes, or yes, something. yes. Give options. So yeah. I'm I'm kind of stressed about this because I don't oh. really know that it's even going to work out. Because well, how could it not work out? Because it's a shawl, right? No, it's a wrap. It's oh. a um. It's like a, you know my granny hug shrug. Yes. It's kind of like that. It's oh, like a big okay. rectangle with armholes. So, so I it really does have to kind it's, of. It's not like. A sweater sweater right but right. You, you do kind of need your arms yeah. to be in somewhat the right place definitely you don't want it to be cock either you know. and so this oh i should show, show the right side it's gorgeous i do love it i think it's, it's um super fun it's using the chick that knits yes and the assigned pooling stitches and then the blue is by potion yarns yeah and um so you you knit to whatever weight of yarn you're supposed to go to mm. or i did i asked somebody who watches us that did this yeah if they could kind of tell how many inches they knit before they did their mm -hmm. sleeves mm -hmm. and i think she said 13 inches okay so i i kind of did that from here Oops. this was the beginning and i did but then so this this is on me but I got to the point where I was going to start doing the increases yeah. for the sleeves. Okay. And my I was short like 13 stitches. Oh, geez. I have no idea what happened. I don't know if I had lost stitches doing some of these. Yeah. Or, I mean, I don't see any drop stitches. And when you're doing these, the I don't remember exactly what they're called. I think these are like the rosette clusters mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. You're... you're Basically, you're knitting five together, and then you're going back to five stitches okay. all the time. So yep. you're not changing your stitch count. Right, right. And then same with the, uh, I really don't remember what these little ones are called, but yeah. it's three stitches, and so you're doing three together and then putting it back to... So you're never intentionally changing your stitch yeah, count. Yeah, so that shouldn't change anything. But it's possible yeah. <laughs> that I yeah. did something. Yeah. I mean, I obviously... I can't imagine that I didn't cast on the right amount, because when I cast on, I do... Uh, markers I counted right. multiple You're times yeah yeah so I don't know where those stitches went but I know that I had to then knit some extra space to do mm -hmm. some increases mm -hmm. to get to the right stitch count yeah so what my fear is is that I've gone too far let's see um so where where my needle is hanging out here mm -hmm. I've done this part mm -hmm. this is supposed to be the right front okay and I've done the increases here mm -hmm. and so now I'm working on the middle section mm -hmm. um, here and I think that this is one of those things that you can wear either way like okay. you know upside down or whatever oh, I don't good. know okay. but in my mind this is the top okay and so if it goes like I I think once I get to the point where I can even wrap my head around what this thing is and yeah. how it works, it'll yeah. be better. But I, I don't know, I don't even understand. Yeah. So I, it's frustrating when you're knitting something and you're like, you can't see the finish. Like, exactly. Because, you, know, you know, I'm impaired when it comes to that anyway. Yeah, me too. But so this, I don't know. I, re I just don't even understand. So <laughs> I'm hoping that this all works out, but I don't know for sure that it's going to because I feel like there's so much up here because I may have gone too long yeah. before starting this whole sleeve thing. 
But that doesn't matter if you've gone to the I don't know. I really don't know. As long as you have two holes for the arms. Well, oh. I hope I end up with two holes for the arms then. <laughs> That might be the saving grace. Yeah. So, I don't know. We'll we'll yeah. see. I have no idea. It's, yeah. um, it's I a think, work in progress. Yeah. like, it has potential mm -hmm. to be a great piece. Totally. I just wish that she had written it differently for yeah. people that don't want to weigh their yarn. Who does? Like, who, I don't know. Who seriously <laughs> wants to take a big project like that and put it on a scale and weigh it all the time? Well, like, weigh it before you do it and after and... Uh, I just I don't understand that and yeah. no one needs to try to explain it to me because I don't really care. Yeah. I'd rather just complain. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. But you know, yeah. on a serious note, uh, you buy these patterns without knowing I know. what's coming. Yeah. And that's kind of like I understand. I understand how you know designers are like, don't share my patterns because right. this is my livelihood or right. whatever. Right. Well, you know what? We have a livelihood too, and we buy your patterns, yeah. and then they're crappy patterns. Yeah. Well, and you're stuck with them. Yeah. I mean, yes, and I've said that so many times. There's yeah. been patterns I've bought that I've either been like, wow, I could have done that myself. Like, it took no right. effort to create this pattern. It was extremely basic, and I paid five or six bucks for it. Or it's a pattern that, yeah, is not clear, and you end up with a pattern that you're probably never going to nick because you don't understand it. Yeah. They don't speak your language, you know? Yeah, and, you know, not saying that everyone needs to cater to my no, no, whatever. Right, right. And obviously a lot of people, she's a, she's a well-known mm -hmm. and well-appreciated right. Designer, and I'm sure she's got lots, of, and a lot of people have knit this and totally, had no problems. Totally. So, yeah, yeah. I'm not really bashing her. I'm just, no. um, I'm just. It could just be you. Of course, I mean, it is. There's, no, but there's been <laughs> times people have said, uh, I can't remember which pattern designer it is that I used to knit a lot of. Um, oh gosh, I can like see it without seeing it. Um, and I've knit several of their patterns, and people have said, oh my gosh, did you have a difficulty knitting it? Because you know, I've heard that her pattern, and I was like, no. But I feel like she speaks my language. Like, she just, she speaks my knitting yes. language. Like, I get it. I get what she's saying. But that's the thing. It's like some people, you can read their pattern, and you're yeah. like, what the heck does this mean? You know? And we've had that before. Well, I'll have you read a pattern, and you explain it to me. What does this mean? And you'll yeah. explain it, and I'll be like, oh, okay, I get it now. But, yeah, but there's some patterns that I don't know if they're just written poorly or if they're just not written in your language. I'm sure it's language, just in my know? language. Yeah. Because definitely get it. Yeah. a lot of people have knit it. Yeah. I'm just surprised that there weren't more options of people saying, hey, this, this didn't is, make sense yeah. to me, so this is how it ended up being. So, yeah. clearly it's me. Yeah. But, uh, she doesn't want to take the responsibility for being her. <laughs> So be I just want to complain. That's right. I just want to complain yeah. and make it someone else's problem. And be heard. And be heard. Yeah, we just want to just be heard. Just give me some sympathy. Yeah. Don't tell me all the reasons why it's this way or how I could have done it better. Just right. tell me that you sympathize with you me. You understand. And yeah. it's okay. Mm -hmm. And it's happened to you. Yeah. So we're not alone. Yeah. It's not just us. It's not just us being stupid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think yeah. that if I, like once I'm done with this and I can kind of figure out where I should have done this or how long I should, you know, if I can do that, then I'll probably love the pattern. Totally. Because I like the idea of it. Exactly. And the yarn's gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. And it's cool the way you're doing it. Like, I just really don't want to have to rip it out. No. And do uh, anything weird to fix anything yeah. that I've done. Yeah. So. Yeah. I hear you. That was just me deflecting all my shortcomings on the designer. Exactly. Well, I hate patterns that make you feel stupid. <laughs> That's all I want is I want a pattern that makes me feel smart. Is that asking too much? <laughs> That's, true. That's what it comes down to. I don't want to reveal my my not knowing how to knit, you know, or not knowing how to understand something. Like, yeah, you feel like you're a good knitter until you reach a pattern like that, and you're like, oh my gosh, am I that stupid, or is it? Well, it can't be me. And you know? another thing that's kind of complicated it is the the pattern itself does alternates between stockinette mm. and garter okay and i'm not doing that i'm just doing all stockinette oh, okay. because i'm doing these stitches i don't yeah, want to mess yeah, with yeah. and so there's like for each section there's twice as many rows mm. as what i'm doing because to compensate for you know whether yeah. you're doing stockinette or garter okay my only complaint, my only thing is I really just wish that she had added how many inches mm -hmm. to knit yeah. before doing whatever. Cause, yeah. Because it's kind of like someone telling me something in metrics. Yes. I don't get that. Exactly. I live in America. Yeah. I'm ignorant of yeah. the metric system. And I don't want to take the time to have to convert it. It's not going to happen. Or figure it at, out. Yeah. At this yeah. point in life, it's just not going to happen. <laughs> Those days are gone. You know, this is really <laughs> pathetic. 
Um, <laughs> so you know the Ten Commandments. Yes. Okay. So like, I sh- like as a, as a Christian, mm. a follower of Christ, someone mm. who believes in the Bible right. and all of that, I should know those. Yeah. You know. Um, but it wasn't until recently that so there's this song from okay when my kids were younger. Remember, like there was the Veggie Tales yes, and all that. Yes. 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 Well, there was some other cartoon animated thing in that vein Mm -hmm. that bart millard from mercy me Mm. did the theme song for okay okay and it was called like 10 simple rules or something Mm. and i loved it it was like the best song but back in those days you couldn't just search spotify or itunes you know and i couldn't find it well now that we've advanced you know so far in our technology i found the song the well not the other day but i found the song not too long ago 10 simple rules and so now I can get that song in my head and I could tell you exactly what the Ten Commandments are nice. from this children's song. Hey, that's <laughs> whatever that works. So we we can learn we new can, tricks, but can. it has to be to a catchy yes. tune. Yes. Or yes. um yes. you know, something like that. So No, I used to do it all the time, like I remember when we homeschooled the girls, like learning the different um you know the different participles and you know we used to listen to those things i would you know, the 50 state the, the state songs or the what all those different songs that i would play those for the kids all the time because so i'd be like i don't remember this stuff i don't know how to teach this but if i play it in the car and the girls hear it enough it's going <laughs> to yeah. get into their head and then you learn it by hearing it 50 yeah times. you know which song i so, wish i'd gotten in my head at some one? point the one that talks about how many days are in each month you don't have that. I can yet. never remember oh, how. Many, always, do always, you? Yes. Yeah. Thirty days has September, April, June, and November. All the rest of thirty-one except for February has twenty. Speak up. No one can hear you. Oh, I know. People have said that. I feel <laughs> so bad. Yes. Yeah, because so you were talking. Thirty probably. days has September, April, June, and November. All the rest of thirty-one except for February, which has twenty-eight except for a leap year. And I will never 20. remember that. You it's, won't. No, it's just past the time. Maybe I. Gonna... Maybe I will send you a recording of me singing it. <gasps> That's what I, I want. Song yes, and then I can listen to it when I'm just. All the it time. can be on my playlist, the <laughs> and then I'll get it. Oh God! All right, we have a plan in place. Yeah, there you so go. So now we just need that pattern rewritten there to where go. the maybe she sings you the pattern. Maybe you'd yes, get it I just need it to yes. a good tune. Just need to yes, be sung okay. or read to you out loud <laughs> in a nice. I don't nice do nice well with well. What's funny? Audible I was gonna say, like but audibles. I do. I listen to audible mm-hmm. books all the time. Yeah, yeah. So if somebody know. just read it to you out loud, it maybe. would make sense. I think we ought to move on because I'm a lost cause. <laughs> I guess. Well, I mean, speaking of pattern issues, I mean, I've had issues with the poncho. Okay. And I'm sure everybody's going to be like, oh my gosh, Leslie, you're stupid. Because um, I just... <laughs> no, because you're being nicer about it. Well, I just, I, I feel like I've had like, I mean, I've had a hell of a couple weeks. So oh my gosh, I was, gosh, in, I was in a car wreck. Which at first I called it accident, but I told Bob, I said, I can hear Michelle and Michael in my head saying there is no such thing as an accident. It's a crash. But I wouldn't say that to you. I would not say that to you. I know, but I just remember our days of like, there is no such thing as an accident. But (laughs) I swear, like, yeah, I rear-ended somebody. Yeah. So anyway, total my my car. We think it's totaled. We only had basic coverage on our car because we'd owned it. We'd, we'd paid it off several years ago. So it was like, why do we have full coverage? Well, so we get nothing for them a car, you know? So it's sure it's such a scam, whether so, it's health yeah. insurance or... So it's sitting in our driveway right now. Oh, it is? Yes. Yeah, so oh. we got a quote on how much it would cost to fix it. Because we thought, you know what? They're still worth quite a bit of money, this car, which is silly, but they're great in gas mileage and so people are willing to pay, Yeah, you know? So we thought, okay, you know, we'll see about fixing it it's gonna be like eight or nine grand to fix it okay which is insane because parts have gone up everything's right. gone up so it's not worth i mean we could still probably make some money off of it but it's sure. like the time and forking out eight grand well, up front when we have two weddings well, i think we're gonna part it out yeah and, you know do something yeah. um but it's just uh devastating so that same day i got in the wreck i had to go get another car my back was achies. I took the I had to take the next day off work because I was sore and I've been sore, which I'm sore from work anyway, but you know, nobody <laughs> wants to hear that. But it's you know, my back was sore. Well then what else happened? Well then my daughter was in a accident two days ago on a 
not a side by side, a sand rail, I don't know, kind of vehicle, you know, when you go on sand dunes or whatever. But it's not a dune buggy? No. Okay. No. Um, Some they, sort of. I guess like rolled four times, the <laughs> steering wheel came off or broke or something. And anyway, so she's bruised up and extremely sore, been laying around for a couple days. Thank God there was like no concussion. But poor Leslie, my heart just went oh out to you. You can tell the little story, but well, you yeah, found out. It's, she was taking off for the weekend with with her fiance, her best friend, and her best friend's boyfriend. They're all like, they're all in the wedding party. Like they've been best friends for years, great people. Going camping with a bunch of people and gonna be doing this on the dunes, you know, whatever you do. So yeah. anyway, um, that Friday evening, I was thinking she hasn't sent me any pictures. And I told her, send me pictures, I wanna see pictures. So, you know, as a mom, you stalk your kids and you, you know, I had to see where she was at. And so I used my, you know, what are they called? They're called, I don't know. I mean, it's uh, tracking, just, yeah, tracking. Uh, I can track my kids. They can track me too. So I tracked her and it showed she was at a freaking hospital at the beach. And I'm like, what the hell? You know, so I immediately call um, my daughter and her fiance answers, Cole. And I'm like, what is going on? And he was like, she's okay. She's okay. There was an accident. I'm like, what? I'm like, just like, what the that heck? That would be the what? worst <gasps> feeling. It's like the worst, you know, feeling. And anyway, yeah, they were in it and it, the steering wheel broke off or broke, whatever. And they flipped four times. She, she opened her eyes and she was upside down. She had to like unbuckle herself and... <sighs> They had a bunch of people coming after to help them and get them out. Her friend had had stitches in her ankle, and then her other friend had internal bruising, but no concussion, which is shocking. But it was just terrifying. And so then that night, her best friend's dad actually drove down there to be with oh. all of them, and he helped get them to a hotel that oh, night. Good. So they got all their stuff from the campground, went to a hotel so that Emmy could sleep in a bed. Oh, I'm so glad that they didn't try to come home. Yeah. Well, they were going to at I first. Know, that's they were going to drive. And I was like, I won't sleep until no. you guys are safe somewhere. And it was like already 11 o'clock at night. And I was like, Cole, I don't want you driving mm -hmm. two hours. And then, you know, when Emmy's back is who knows in what kind of shape. And they checked her out at the hospital, but it was very, Emmy was like, they like touched my head, mom, <laughs> and said, does that hurt? <laughs> yeah. And they deemed she didn't have a concussion. I mean, I don't know how, you know, she said it was a joke, like how they checked her out. So anyway, but nothing was broken, you know. And so um, anyway, then Cole was like, well, if the hotel has another room, you know, I'll book, you know, we'll book it and stay a night. So they stayed and then came home what's today sunday came home yesterday and so she's just been laying laying flat she said if she doesn't move she's fine but when she gets up to move it's painful you know mm. so it's just i feel like these last two weeks have just been like oh my god yeah those are some big life events and i, mean, I feel like there's things. something else i don't know i'm trying to think like i mean just wedding stuff i feel like it's well, getting you, down you to the wire to, yeah where it's All like cleaning out and we're having to clean stuff. out a barn at my future son-in-law's parents place cleaning out their barn and getting things ready for that and just you know it's just a lot it's, it's just been a lot so anyway knitting on this poncho yeah um i just okay so they have you knit on the one side which you know i finished that okay this was the one side then they say go over to the other side, you know, and now I'm going to knit on this. Well, they don't tell you, you have no yarn attached to this side. So they say attach the yarn and knit on the right side. So there's only one way you can like hook on, you know what I mean? Uh huh. So I'm thinking it's right, but I just, I'm like you, if I don't see where it's going or what, what the plan is, it stresses me out because I feel like, am I wasting all my time Right. or is this going to somehow, cause I can't imagine how this is going to work. I can't, how's that going to work? You know, but I guess it will somehow. This is the opening, I guess. And it seems so tiny. I know. And believe me, I went up a needle size, um, I love this yarn. I do oh too. Gosh. It's gorgeous. But, it's gorgeous. Yeah. But so I think that's why it's kept me from working on it because I've missed knitting. I've been literally just crocheting. And last night I was like, oh, I miss knitting. Like I want to knit. But it's like, when I look at this, I go, is this even going to be big enough? Is it even going to like, is it going to work out? Like, what is this thing? You know, it's I like do. a shawl. I totally you can it. see it. You know it. It's it's good. It's it's forming the pattern or the, the shape that it's supposed to be. Why don't you do a couple of these Mesa wraps with me? Oh, gosh. Yeah. 
So I told Michelle, somewhat jokingly, but somewhat serious, I was like, I should just freaking do some half and half wraps for them because I love that pattern so much and I love that yarn so much, which I love this yarn. But one of these is linen quill, the, the cream, whatever colored one is linen quill. Uh, part of me is like, you know, could I whip out two of those in the next eight weeks? I don't know. You think you Maybe have eight I weeks? Could. I think we do. Wasn't it eight weeks last time we put it here? I think it was 10 weeks. <laughs> I don't know. It's July 17th. I feel like it's well, so I don't close. need, I don't need them until oh. I think the 31st. Okay. I think. Why? Well, the 31st is her wedding. Oh, okay. I'm not sure the exact date of when I'm handing off these ponchos, okay. but I'm, I'm assuming it's a wedding type gift. I don't, I have no idea. I need to find that. Out. It's kind of important. So I just feel like I'm just, I don't know. I really like what you have going on with I that one. I it do. just would be nice to know. And I need to look up, I, I should look up on the pattern. What is the finished size? Obviously mine should be bigger. If I went up a needle size, it should be than what they're saying. Um, but I still feel like too, with this pattern, I have so much more to go. Do you? Like, well, yeah, because a lot of these things you have to like repeat, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at all these pages. It's just, <laughs> normally it wouldn't be daunting to me, but when I look at all these pages now, I'm like. And then to think you have to do two. And to think I have, yeah, I have one. one but you know, one you could one. finish this one mm -hmm. and then just in the back of your mind know that the other one's just going to be half and half. Which is exciting. Yeah. So maybe that would help me. And then if this one ends up being smaller than you want it to be. Yeah. Do you think one of them would be better suited? I don't know who the two people are, so I need to find that out too. Keely kept specifying have it be big. Yeah. But I don't know if big means because big is better. I mean, you know, yeah. I prefer a big shawl, big poncho over a tiny little but one. But this could end up being, this, um, this could end up being more of like a over the head kind of cowl. That's what I kind of think. I mean, versus, because it definitely show that picture yeah. of her with it. Cause yeah. that definitely doesn't seem to be like the kind of poncho that would be big. Right. It kind of seems more like a neck scarf. Yes. But yet one that won't fall off. You right. Know? But then when you see it draped across there, I'm like, that looks pretty big. That picture makes it seem like it should be yeah. more of a poncho kind of thing. But when you see her wearing it. Yes. It almost looks like a wrap. Yeah. It's like a, like a cowl. A, yeah, big, a yeah, big yeah, kind of thing. I don't know. Which is funny because this kind of a project is not something I would personally want for myself, only because I'm just, I'm that type, I like that feeling you of do. something up by my neck, which not everybody does. No, Most people I don't. probably don't. But to me, I look at it and go, why? Like, it's not going to keep me warm. It's not going to be like yeah. squishy. And I don't know. Like, that's what I love about the linen linen quill and the yeah, it's gonna end up happening crap. these ladies are gonna get a couple crocheted blankets <laughs> <laughs> believe me that crossed my mind it might come down to crocheting that i was like i'd appreciate a crochet oh, heck blanket yeah. but not everybody would i don't know Who would? So, i know i know so, i mean if bob and michael are using them then <laughs> well they haven't yet so well, we'll see i don't know but anyway this is the the pattern i mean it's it's pretty bright sunny day by sivia harding it's pretty i just I feel like I just have so much crap going on. Not crap. A lot of it's great. So it's not all crap. No, it's Accidents not crap. Or the wrecks are crap. Crash. Crash. It was a crash. I would not have said horrible. that to you. But I have to say, though, the lady that I hit could not have been sweeter. Like, it was a blessing to me because it was like, oh, she was so sweet and kind. So, and we had a great conversation. <laughs> Isn't that chatted. funny? Yeah. So that was very sweet. She oh. was very sweet. So I appreciate that because in... Oh, some people get today, pretty. Yeah. yeah. When my daughter got hit, sideswiped, the guy was an absolute jerk. ass. Yeah. I mean, he was a jerk to her, yelling at her, pounding on her window. Well, you know, I'm sure some of that has to do with her age. You know, people think yeah. they can just treat younger people. Yeah, maybe. Crappy. But yeah, so I appreciated that. She was extremely sweet. But, um, and everybody at work was extremely sweet. I went back and I said, everybody was just like, are you okay? Are you? Oh, we're so glad so down, you're honey. fine. <laughs> you know, so it was very sweet. Oh, but, good. But yeah, but it was like, oh my gosh. I don't know. It's uh, horrible. I just, Rocks are horrible. They are. Crashes are horrible. I dread the day when it I is. hear it's about, horrible. um, one of the girls having one. Yeah. Because it's just a matter well, of time. People are crazy drivers nowadays. Worse and worse insane, all the time. Insane. Insane. And then the lack of enforcement because the lack right. of resources right. because we all wanted to defund the police. Yeah. So yeah. now we're all paying the price. Well, and where my crash happened was down the street from where Keeley got hit. So it's oh. like, it's a 
pretty bad spot, you know. It's not a good curve. Yeah. But um but yeah, I just couldn't stop in time. Two teenagers were acting like they were going to cross the street, but they weren't. They were on the curb, so it wasn't like it's not like they stepped out and the person two cars ahead decide, oh, I'm gonna let them no, it was like they barely stepped in the street and the person two cars ahead slammed on their brakes. <sighs> And then the person ahead of me slammed on their brakes and kind of curved over. And by that time, I was like, I can't. There's no way. You guys are literally, like, going from going to stopped in my car, you know. So there was no speed involved. We were all going the speed limit. but And then the person two cars ahead wasn't even hit. And they just drove off, you know, leaving us, you know. Thanks. In the aftermath. Thanks. And then the kids didn't even cross. I was like, oh, my gosh. So anyway, uh, yeah, it was fun. Fun times. Fun times. But. Anyway, so. Well. So I don't know about the We're all glad you're okay. Yeah, and I'm sure everybody's doubting, wondering if I'll finish it. The poncho thing, you know, right from the start, we should have just said, you know, just do the half and half. Just do what you people want. Said it, and people said, is there a way that you can close the half and half to make it a poncho? Which I'm sure if you're smarter than me, you could figure it out. I just don't. Oh, in my head, yeah, I, I get it. I know, you know what I mean. mean. Like, yeah. it would take too much thinking. Yeah. And right now, my brain is just so, like not there that I don't know if I could uh I'm sure there's a way I'm sure anybody else would know oh yeah just connect it here and seam it up it'd be a poncho that'd be awesome because literally the size is perfect if I need a large okay size. I think you could figure it out you think or I, I think carrier lawyer or well, yeah you know, else even if we got out. together you together two brains are two brains. I think us together <laughs> might be able to do it <laughs> you have a lot of faith <laughs> I'm delusional <laughs> Getting, getting more and more delusional in my yeah, older age. Exactly. Um, no, I think that, well, you're going to have to do something. I, I love that. The, I do too. So I love the pretty. yarn. The yarn yes. is gorgeous. So what, okay, say you go forward with the half and half. Yeah. What are you going to do with that? Are you going to ultimately finish it? Are you going to rip it out? What you going to do? Well, I wouldn't wear it. So it <laughs> and I love the yarn, so I wouldn't yeah. wear like not the yarn. And the pattern, I think, is great. I just feel like, I don't know if it's going to be big enough. I, I don't know that it's going to be... Um, well, okay, how much, pull it up here again. Let's yeah. take a look. All right. How much of the yarn do you, how much yarn do you have left that you think would be going into this thing? Oh, all of it. I mean, you're so supposed to How much to have use... you used now? Like, not even half? Are you expecting me to weigh it or something? I think, I think that we should be weighing our yarn all the time now. And our project. Constantly. Uh, I don't know. They say I think you're supposed to use a skein each, but I'm like, I think I'm going to run out of this, which I went up a needle size, so I'm not blaming. I, it wouldn't surprise me if I run out, but I think you're supposed to just use a skein each. I just skeins. don't think it's going to do it justice for the size that you need. So less. they so use less well. traveled yarn, 757 Sorry. sock, 463 yards, two skeins in contrasting colors. So the sample was a variegated yarn A and pumpkin spice was a tonal as yarn B. So that's the thing. It says using yarns with less than 400 yards per skein is not advised. Well, these probably are less than 400. Don't you think most most I fingering don't know. weights no, they're, are three no, they something? They go anywhere. Some of them are over 400. Are they? Yeah. I don't remember. Well, I've got those. We can look. But I don't think it's going to matter. Well, that's 463. So yeah, I guess yeah. they are over 400. I, I don't... I don't I don't see this between seeing this mm -hmm. and the picture. I'm just afraid it's not going to be big enough. That's the thing. And I hope oh, I'm... here's the measurements. Oh, okay. So I, I always have to take out something and actually measure it because I can't visualize. So what does that mean? 26 inches across. Okay. I don't know. So that's, that's really not, not that far. That much. And then like 50. How does it? I don't know how they're measuring yeah, it. Show that box know, because that makes no sense to me either. I don't know what that means. What does that mean, people? Yeah, because if it's a poncho, like how do you measure that? How do you know? Well, especially this one because it's oddly shaped. It is. It is oddly so, shaped. It's not your typical. So maybe the smaller end, well, obviously the smaller end is the 26, but maybe when you go to that picture, there is that shorter end. Yeah. And so like yeah. they're saying from. So the total width would be. I don't know. All the way across, and then I don't know. Yeah, I don't get it. it. I don't get it. I'm sure it's easy. I just can't get. I can't. My brain can't go there right now. So I don't know. I just know I have several pages left. I feel like it's probably not going to be enough yarn either. I don't think this is going to be enough. Like I feel like. But I got you covered there. You do. If you do, if you're really going to. Yeah. But I don't think that's your biggest problem. I think your biggest problem is that you don't. You're not into it. 
I would be into it if I felt more confident that yeah. I was that it was going to be a good size and that I was going to have enough yarn, which I guess that's solved because I mean you've got yarn. Um, if I was doing it right, if I knew that, yep, Leslie, it's looking good, you're doing it well. I think you're doing it right. I just think that okay. it's probably not. Have you looked on, you know, the, the site that shall not be named? Have you looked on Ravelry to see mm, other? I should. I would. I, I mean, should. just to see how it fits other people. Yeah. If um, other people mention size. Yeah. Yeah, or anything. But you yeah, really, I, I mean, I know I'm speaking for everyone here. Yes. Oh boy, here they come. Uh, <laughs> We're not done yet. Yeah, they must need another beer or something. Yeah. Oh, done. no, they got a, a trailer of wood. More donuts. Okay, good. Uh, you said donuts and my mind is totally... I know, totally, I know. Like, everything else just left my brain. <laughs> um, I'm not even kidding. What were we just <laughs> Um Oh, gosh. Everybody, uh, you said... Oh, I'm like, speaking for everyone. Yeah, speaking. Oh, you didn't yes. get this stuff dialed in, girl. Get what stuff this down. whole poncho I know uh, it's freaking wrap, out. Uh, but like you and I were talking before we started podcasting I think it boils down to we are both selfish knitters yeah. we like knitting for ourselves. if it's yeah. not something that I would wear it's hard for me to do it and I know I wouldn't wear something like that so it's very hard for me to want to do it you know it's funny I think we both love the idea of knitting totally. for others I want to that I blanket nice. that blanket yeah. that I was doing for Jerry's yeah. grandchild yeah I've got it you know the yeah. um corner to corner yeah I've got it to the point where now I just have to start doing the... Yeah. I haven't looked at that thing and... Well, the other thing is, is I overthink it. I stress too much. I worry, are they going to like it? Will they even want to wear it? Mm -hmm. uh, I worry too much about what other people think. And so then I, I question everything. They yeah. won't like it. It's not going to fit right. It's not the right colors. It's not the right feel. What if it's too scratchy? I, oh. I, whereas if it's for me... I already know. Okay, yep, yeah, I love it. True. I love the colors. It's going to fit great. I love the size of it. Like, I, if it's for me, I know what I like. And so it's just hard for me to knit for people when I'm like, I don't know. It's probably going to be too small. That's well, I, I do think that that's probably the biggest legitimate concern that yeah. you're looking at is that it's not going to be the size like that, that and it, it, it is truly, if I don't like it for me, it's hard for me to knit it for anybody else. Okay. Because I can't just go, like, if somebody wanted to commission me to to knit something for them, I would have to love it, but then I'd want to keep it. Yeah. So it would be too hard. I don't know. It's such a weird, it's weird. Yeah. I don't know. But then I'm sure every artist, if you think about it, probably feels that same way. Like if somebody's being commissioned to paint a, a painting for someone, they probably love it too. And how it, it would be hard for them to give it up, you know, maybe, yeah. I don't know. I mean, you got to think most people that are artistic in some way probably struggle with that. To some degree. To some degree. Yeah. I don't know. Because yeah. I'm not. I'm not artistic. I mean, we knit. We yeah. knit and crochet. Yeah. That's it. So, I don't know. But anyway, so. Well, thanks. I'm sorry. We're all I know. I know. And I feel so bad because I'm like, everybody was so happy. They felt like, yay, you landed on something you love. And then it's like, eh. I just feel like I can't concentrate on anything right now. I don't know. I just I, feel like my brain. I, I really like, think you just need to do the half and half. Because that's what you want to do. And as, me, as you'll see like in my huge, community service, I, I bought more projects. than Quill. So. Oh. Yeah. They're huge projects. So that's a big undertaking, too. Well, that's why I love them. Because they're big and they're I know, squishy. But and it's going to take you a while I know. to do two of them. Maybe. But people are surprised I finished the other ones so fast. But see, okay, this is my struggle with okay. the half and half, is I'm going to knit them and I'm going to want to keep them. Then give them one of your older ones. I love them too much. <laughs> I've already thought about that. Believe me, that's that's why I feel like I'm such a selfish, I don't know, because like, I don't think I could part with the linen quilts, the, the half and halves. If I knit them, I think I would be like, oh my gosh, I don't want to keep this one. Like, it would be hard for me to give it up. So it's sounding more one. and more to me like you're going to give them crochet blankets. <laughs> really. <laughs> <laughs> or something store-bought and try to, try to pawn it off. Pass off. Like, <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'm just, my brain is so scattered that I feel like I can't think clearly enough I to think like, the make a good decision. I think the blankets would be great. <laughs> I know. I... <laughs> I'm really pushing for the blankets now, okay? <laughs> Come on, you guys. But Support me in this. So, okay, and I love the blanket idea, too. Uh -oh. oh, my room just broke. <laughs> See, everything's falling to crap. Um, 
is that they're used to beautiful Native American, gorgeous, uh, what's it called? Pendleton Pendleton stuff. blankets. Like, that's what they're okay, used to. But so here you have this, this, you know, it's not made with wool. It's made with... It's a totally different look. It is. It's a totally different sentiment behind it. Yeah. And if you think about the fact that that's what they're accustomed to... Maybe they'd like something different. Yes, exactly. Maybe. Because it's like, yeah. if you had nothing but Pendleton blankets... Yeah. You'd probably really like the colorful... Um, maybe. You know... Maybe. Yeah, maybe. I definitely think you're overthinking there. Oh, I totally am. I know I'm over... I, that's the thing. In my head, I know I'm overthinking things and putting too much pressure on myself. But it's like I can't help myself. And let's let's keep it real here. You're mm -hmm. doing this for your daughter. Right, right. And yes. so I want her to be happy too with it, you know. And she wanted ponchos. So it's like well, uh, I don't want to just disappoint, you know. I don't know. I don't know. How did she come up with the idea for ponchos? I have no idea. Okay. I think she probably thought like it can go over their head so it's not gonna fall off. Because if you're not a knitter, uh -huh. you know, you probably would appreciate a poncho. Because a shawl, you know, you don't know how to wear it. You wonder how to put it on. But that's the thing with the half and half. I feel like there's so many different ways you can wear it. You totally. can just drape it. You can just... And the thing about that that makes it even better is mm -hmm. that they can use it at home mm -hmm. on the couch. Totally. Or, you know, whatever. Yeah. Multiple uses. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. going crush it like it. Yeah. So I don't know. Okay. Anyway, let's move on to something okay. positive because I feel like it's like... I know. We're in such a downer doomsday. now. Doomsday. I don't know. But anyway. Well, do you have any other projects you've worked on or would nope. you on to community service? Nope. I'm on to community service. I just like to shop. <laughs> Which Bob finally like, told me the day fun. he was like, I need to kind of slow down on that. Because, I mean, every day it's like new crap's coming in. I'm like, I know. I know. I said, I think when I'm stressed, I just start shopping and just buying everything and it's like do i need it no but i'm just like i feel like so much money's going into weddings yeah. and all that stuff that it's like then for myself i'm like okay i want to i want to get this and this and so you're yeah. medicating yourself i am with, yeah with shopping I mean, yeah it's, and it's bad uh, not say that's really okay shouldn't. but we all do it and... i know bob was like want to be nice after the weddings like <laughs> your paycheck will actually be like what a, you know it's like yeah it's it's gonna be crazy yeah it's just yeah yeah bleeding money left and bleeding right. money all right yes. all right on to you so what else are you working on well, what are you doing um that the, bag is gorgeous i know did you just get it yes oh, and i will show so it in our community okay. service section, so which i think we're at one. i think we're at the community are service we you're not, you're not well i i kind of do but it's part of community service okay. so okay. um and I have a lot of stuff to show nice. in that, on that front, okay. as I'm sure you do, too. Yeah, just a little bit. So, I mean, not too. I feel like I was a little better this time. Were you? I feel like it's... <laughs> that's delusional. I mean, that's I have, nice. I mean, I have more stuff coming. I have a, a book coming today, which I can't oh. wait to show you guys, but it's all because of Devin from Nitty McPearly. It's her fault. What book is it? Is it a, a pattern book? Oh. Yeah, yep, but it's actually like... I don't buy books all the time. Yeah. But when she showed it and she actually showed some of the patterns, I was like, oh my gosh, that's like a really cool oh, knitting book. Like oh. there's some neat patterns. Can't so wait to hear more about that. Either go watch Devin's latest podcast or you can, well, I'll show the book next time because it's coming today, but it's not coming until later today. So, but yeah. Oh, that's and, exciting. Yeah. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful knitting book. I think you'd probably like a lot of the patterns in there too because they're just unique. They're not your typical, you know. There's just a lot of neat stitch patterns and stuff. So. Cool. Well, What's I'm anxious that? to... Well, well, I thought we'd start with our row one minis. Yes, yes. Because we got our row one minis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, well, when I got mine, yeah. I was just like, I have to use those right away. Really? Yes. Good for you. But primarily because I loved the... Um, so you're naughty. Because see, with me, I was like... Oh, I you weren't going to use I them? Was, I wasn't. <laughs> touching them they just sat in my bag for three weeks because i was like i have to wait till i can show them then i can but, but that's good but you can sh you know that's beautiful you can it's see so them bright and cheerful i wanted to do the so this is the thing you've been doing neat yes um, did you like it yeah isn't that fun yeah okay uh, i can't think of right now who the tutorial was by mm. um something like a blossom or something yes not cherry blossom. Is it Not, cherry blossom? Maybe. I have a picture. But I did link it. In, oh, you did? Okay. I good. mean, you'll have to go back an episode or two, but it's, yes. it's out there if you okay. want to find it. it but if, I mean, if you find it, fine. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, these colors were, I wanted to try that. And you know how you talked about doing the row one minis mm -hmm. in the squares mm -hmm. and then 
joining them. Joining them. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to do that. So nice. I did my colors and I, I can still show the colors because I kept track of which was which. And then at the end, I just decided to use some of our undyed sparkle nice. to finish it off to get, because they're all going to come to somewhat a different yeah, point because yeah, of yeah. weights and stuff. Yeah. So I figure I can finish them off to make them all basically the same size with the undyed sparkle mm -hmm. and then they'll have a it's border gorgeous. on them. It's gorgeous. Yeah, so that was fun. Oh, I can't wait to have a brain like yours again. <laughs> I, I know, I feel, I feel like you're so creative and you're doing such cool things. I'm like, my brain is just like, uh, it's too much work right now. Like, you know what I mean? But I can't wait to get back to that. Like. This was your idea. No, but yeah, but you <laughs> did it. You're the one that was like, oh, we should do whatever. That's so whatever. cool. That's so pretty. I love the color. I mean, those, it's funny because when I first saw the Real One Minis for this month, I'm going to be honest with everybody, but they weren't in my color. I was like, some of them are, but a couple of them were like, whoa, you know what I mean? But when I see them, and yours are different than mine. Mine are different, She gets yeah. the other, you know. But that's happened before where yes. I've liked your colors better. Totally, but, totally. You know. But there are some in here that I absolutely love. So yeah. it's not like they're all, you know. It's um, Super Fine Yarn Co. Which I had not heard of, I so that was fun. That was try. fun. And a lot of them I wanted to immediately take out and start crocheting with, but I didn't, I waited. Well, but I when I cool. saw Sorry. this color, this one that I started with, yeah. that's the aqua, and I loved that color. It's really pretty. It kind of reminds me, didn't, isn't the center of yours kind of a color like that? No, I wish oh. mine was. Mine's very bland. That's oh. why I remember I was thinking about doing some kind of a flower or some kind of a motif oh, in the middle, because right. I feel that's like right. it's kind of a dull but color. But one of your colors towards the center yes, is a really yes, pretty. Yes, definitely. Aqua, yeah, yeah. definitely. So these are my colors. And like I said, there's only like, okay, there's one that I don't want. <laughs> okay, wait, let me see if I can guess yes, it. Pick which one. So here's all of them. Is it that one? Nope. That one. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so I'll show the one I don't love up for, first because the rest of them are great. This is lime. I love it. Yeah, which is a pop. I mean, for in here. Totally. Like, not, totally. Uh, not as a sweater to exactly. wear. Exactly. And that's the thing. Maybe it'll be the first color because I think be... the pop is, it's cool. Yeah. And when you see all the colors go, like they all go together. So it makes, I think it makes sense. This one's apricot, which I think is really pretty. That is pretty. I like the pinks and the reds and the oranges. My second color here is carnation. Oh, you even know which one they go with. Yeah, so good that I could you. But because I did want to be able to identify so what they good. were. This mm -hmm. is sage, with it, which I think is really pretty too. So I, I complain, but I really am not complaining. It's just that one that. Well, kind you of haven't reached me, my level of complaining this episode. Okay. I right. went a little heavy on the. Can't yeah. <laughs> too much. Uh, the yellow is called mellow. This mellow is yellow. spring. Which I feel like we finally have spring right now. The rain at the moment has we stopped do. Yes. for the moment, and we actually are having some sunshine. Uh, the fourth color here, so this pretty blue is called baby. Pretty. This is fossil. So a lot of greens. I feel like yeah. these three are similar but different enough that you know. I feel like it'd be like kind of a fade almost. You know, kind of Maybe. sort of. Yeah. I don't know. They feed. Uh, they almost like feed off each other. Yeah. This one here, right above the baby blue, is called moss. Mm. Doesn't look like moss to me. I really think it's pretty, but I really um, like this color. Do you? Which one's that one? That one's really pretty. Well, we'll get there. Thunder. Oh, okay. I thought you'd already mentioned it. <laughs> no, this is thunder. I'm going from the center out. Maybe okay. I should have gone from the out in. No, you're fine. The next one. What'd you just say? Thunder. Oh, okay. Sapphire is the I thought you said sapphire I was like oh we both have mm -hmm. sapphire this is lollipop which I think is a fun color it's kind of crazy but fun like I love the different variations in there it's really pretty you know as you get further and further out you see less and less of it so yeah this green here is called Kelly that's a pretty green okay so then I think we're going to be to the one that you were asking about this is thistle which I think is a gorgeous Purple. Oh no, it's not purple. Not saying that I was talking to my blanket. That's okay. Seal is this one, this kind of blue, uh, grayish, purpley mm. color. Yeah. And then the next one above it that you were saying you mm -hmm. like, that's called taffy. Oh, it's pretty. But it's kind of, I mean, it kind of is similar to that. Yeah. yeah. No, it is. It'll be interesting to see it crocheted up. Yeah. This is called Sky. Another beautiful blue. I, but it's funny, the more I'm looking at these colors, I'm like, 
that's, I mean, that's pretty intricate. Like there's a lot of different stuff going on with all of her colors. Do you like, do you think that you like more solid colors? No, or? I definitely oh. don't like solid. Oh, okay. I, I wish I liked solid more. I definitely like variegated. Yeah. Okay. Why? Jade. Do you not believe me? No, I totally believe you. <laughs> it's just interesting because I think, I, I mean, I know that in skein form, mm -hmm. I like all the variegated, speckled, yeah. whatever. But actually worked up, yeah. I like the solids better. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Um, What's the difference between solid and tonals? Well, you know, the tonal... Tonals can, are, can kind of, like, fade almost. Like, I wouldn't call this a solid. Right. right? I would say that's more of a tonal. More of a tonal. Okay. Um, but although the center one is a variegated, and yeah. I really like yeah. it. So, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I'm not saying I don't like the... Yeah. Right, just... This is my favorite. I do like punch. I think that's yeah. like a pop of color. That's really fun. That's really pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna maybe do that. I'm gonna maybe start that and do squares. I think it's a fun idea because you get to use them. It's so yeah. fun to use them when it you get is. them. It is. I love it. I love it. And I'm running out of minis. Like when I get them, I'm using them. So it's like I'm definitely. I have a stash going. Like I've said a million times, so I'm keeping aside. They're all oh, pinks yeah. and cream. You know those kinds of things because I do want to do a mohair. Oh, yeah. Pink's blanket. That's like my next big. That'll be pretty. I think it'll be gorgeous and soft and warm. So, but anyway, row one these are so fun. They to are. Every month. I mean, you can do Michelle's done scrappy socks. I've done you've done crochet <laughs> blankets. Um, I've always, I'm always trying to land on the thing I want to do with it. Oh, yeah. I was doing lots of balls, of balls with them. Yeah. yeah. What else have you done? I don't even know. But I've started anyway, many blankets yes. and torn them out. But it's just fun. They're just fun they every month fun. to get. To get like, different dyers. Totally. And then, yeah. yeah. And if you're like us and you just get bored with the same color. You change it up. I think that's the best part about I blankets. Is yes. like, it's so fun to change colors. It's and really be like, fun. Oh, I, I love it. I love it. I mean, it's it, it truly is my favorite part about knitting these blankets. is just being able to work with all these different beautiful colors. And being able to pick the next one. Which one do you want to do next? Yeah. yeah. It's fun. I agree. So, okay, you have to show your beautiful bag. Okay, I'm going to show this I'm bag. Have to order it. Ah. Well, it's from my cottage number nine. Okay. She's in Ireland. It's gorgeous. Super sweet lady. So, and cool. I have admired her bags for a long, long time. Not just my shirt. See, like it's meant to be. Okay, when okay. I saw this one, though, mm. I could resist no longer. Mm. Like, she's got some gorgeous uh, floral ones, and she's had some really nice ones, but there was just something about this one. Show on Etsy? Yes. Okay. Do you guys, can you see how beautiful it's that gorgeous. fabric is? It's gorgeous. The stitching is And then beautiful. I love this together, and it is. It's very nicely made. It's got a nice mm. pocket in there. So my cottage. Yeah, M Y. Mm -hmm. Not that you didn't know how to spell cottage. I, I mean my. I spelled my cottage. Cottage, and then N O N nine. There she is, Terry. Is that yours? Yeah, only two. Is that cheap? Um. Well, is that the same size? Mine, I think, was called a oh, medium. Oh, small. This is okay. A small. So that one's going to be a little bit smaller. Okay. And I even told you know like. This is even a little smaller than I would normally mm -hmm. gravitate towards. Yeah. But I loved it so much. I was like, I don't, whatever. It just, so it's just, it's gorgeous. Yeah. Isn't that okay. lovely? Okay. Yeah, you can do yeah, it right now. Only two left. Okay. I'm getting one of them. Well, um, maybe before you close out, mm -hmm. we should look and see if there's anything else we want to order to mm -hmm. combine shipping. Oh, that's true. I mean, I should. They're so pretty. I know. She's got so Lovely They're all ones. really, really good. Should we show some? I feel bad not showing. Oh, them. yeah, sure. You guys can look them up, but yeah, she's got gorgeous bags. They're so pretty. And I'm very happy. With, like I knew they were going to be good quality. Just I could just tell. Yeah. But I wasn't disappointed. It really is a very nicely made. No, it's beautiful. So I started. Okay, so do you want anything or no? Well. Am I rushing you too You're much? totally rushing okay, me. We're so popping. I'm, so I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, but I feel like... Just, you better just do it. There's only two left. Yeah, because I don't in, want you to miss. It's in seven other carts. Just hit by. Hit okay, just... but I don't know what this is. Where? What do I have that for there? Oh, I don't know. Get rid of it. Yeah. Oh, that's the... Just say save for later or remove. Save for later. Okay. Okay, I'm just doing it. Go check out. Sorry, oh. people. I'll show this. Michelle's so, the worst name. I know. Um, I... 
I did start my Barnyard Knits Row 1 minis. Oh, that's really cool. Because I still had them all together. Yeah. And, of course, Barnyard being one of my very favorite dyers, mm -hmm. I thought I really should do that with this one, yes. too. So are you going Are you going to put that together with the Row 1 minis, or no? You're going to keep this square well, the, separate? Well, this is, remember, because last month was the Barnyard Knits was the Row 1 minis? Yes. So that's oh, what the, Oh, are. gotcha, yeah. gotcha, gotcha, yes. Um, so... Anyhow, and so she sent, Terry from My Cottage No 9, mm -hmm. sent a couple of bags for us. Wow. Um, to That's either so use as whatever we want, as a giveaway wow. or whatever. So this one, mm -hmm. isn't this amazing? It is, sorry, I just have to finish okay, my finish, finish, your, finish my finish your transaction. I have to finish my transaction. You guys, look at this. It's That's so, so gorgeous. Polka dots. The it reminds me of Carrie. It totally does. Mm -hmm. It totally mm -hmm. does. And it's it's a great size. Yes. And the fabric seems the fabric like hefty. A, because it stands open by yes. itself. But yet it's soft. It's super soft. It's not stiff. I like to it. me when I look at it, it's like extremely sturdy. And, so you and almost so soft. So soft. Yeah. Which isn't what I would think. No. I would think something like this would be canvas. Yes, very tough. Yeah. It would you'd think it was canvassy, but it's But it's very and you can oh, tell sorry. you can tell the quality. I mean not that I don't sew at all, but you can just tell it's like you don't have very to sew to know beautifully that it's, made. Yeah. Um so I so nice. I don't know for sure what this is going to be. If it's going to be just, you know what? I did you even look at it yet? Yeah. Oh, I, okay. okay. I have, I was like, I've loaded it up. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> That's why I'm taking nice. everything out. And then this is the other one she mm. sent, which is also super cute. I love that fabric. That's really pretty. Oh my gosh. That's oh, it's a backpack. It's like a backpack. Oh my gosh. Um, which. So cute. Oh my gosh, and the no, inside. I haven't looked at the inside. I love polka so, dots. And a zippered pouch too, right? Is that the one? Um, yeah, you mean like a pocket? Pocket, yeah. yeah. Zippered pouch, pocket, right? Pocket, pouch, whatever. And it also came with a needle minder, but I'm not sure wow. where that is right now. So nice. Um, but let's see, how does that? You just cinch it. Oh, yeah. There you go, and put it on your back. Isn't that cute? That's super cute. So Very cute. we can discuss this later, but do you, mm -hmm. would you like to use that for a while? It's beautiful. No, we can give it away. No, because what I'm thinking is, mm -hmm. you know, there's no reason we've had this discussion. There's no reason we can't use, mm -hmm. because she gave us the option. She didn't say these are for giveaways. Oh. She said, Sending some things for you and Leslie mm -hmm. or as giveaways. That's very, very sweet. It's very sweet. And I love that option because mm -hmm. when we get this stuff, it's like mm -hmm. we love it. Yeah. And it would be fun to use for yeah. a while. But we also want to be able to share. Definitely. So you hate to be, have to pick one or well, the this other. Well, this is what I'm debating in my head. Okay. Should I keep this one and then the one that I just ordered, use that as a giveaway? Oh, no. You love this one. But I like. I think this is very pretty, too, and I kind of like the backpack style. Do you? So part of me is like, I don't have many backpack style knitting bags. Should I keep this one and use that as a giveaway? Well, you don't have to give either one away. Mm, I'm debating. Well, what I, my thought is use this for a while, mm -hmm. and if it becomes a go-to one for you, then it could be your forever bag. If not, then, mm -hmm. you know, unless you were to like spit up on it or, you know, yeah. something weird, That's then true. I don't think, it's not like. Maybe I'll take it home with me, try it out. Yes. When I get this bag in the mail, yes. then we'll decide for, because we have some other giveaways for today. We do. And We've then we can it. decide on if we're going to, which yeah. one we're going to do as a giveaway. I don't think we have to commit to one way or another. Right okay. Now. That's right. how I feel okay. about this one, because. That's, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I just love it. And look at the inside. I mean, it's just. It's very well done. It's so, well this done. is such an awesome bag. It I is. I can't even. Oh, this is the it one is. that came with the. I just love even her attention to detail on the pockets inside. Yes. Like she could have just done a basic little pocket and it would have yeah. been fine. But it's like, no, it's oh, decorative. It's, it's beautiful. Gorgeous. I know. I want to. So the attention to yeah. detail, even on the inside, is like. Even on the inside of the inside. I know. Because look at the inside yeah, of that pocket. That's gorgeous. So this pocket, that's the inside the of the pocket. The fabric is gorgeous. The fabric. Yeah. And then that's the. Yeah, it's so pretty. And then this, I love this pocket. Totally. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's pocket. what I'm saying. Like every it's little detail is like nice. gorgeous. It's not like she chintzed on any of it. No. You know what I mean? Or, or this bag's amazing. It is. Like I'm not even a purple person. I'm not either. 
I am yeah. sort of though. But I, I, I take love, that love, but that's love it's this beautiful. Bag. And I think because of the polka dots and the so cute, this, it's just so cute. So cute. So it's beautiful. Yeah. No, and it's funny because now we're looking at three of her bags. Each of them are very different. Yeah. But all of them are very well made and beautiful fabrics. Yeah. Like there's no fabrics that are like, eh, that's ugly. Like no. they're all I, I like this one a lot yeah, too. I love the blues and the and orange. The I like that orange color. Yeah. Like they're all beautiful. They are. And this they're, is gorgeous. I mean, I just, it's gorgeous. I love this. So, yeah. It's very, very pretty. You hit some home runs here, mm -hmm. girl. And I love that she offers those different options because some people might love this style of bag. Some people might prefer a backpack. Some yeah. people might prefer a throw it over your shoulder type yes. of a bag. So it's nice that she offers that many options in her shop. Obviously has a lot of seamstress experience. Skills. Yeah, she's very, very good. Or I don't even know if that's what you call it. I don't seamstress, even. I don't seamstress know. skills, I, I have know. no idea. She's just very, very talented. And she sure. does watch our podcast. Oh, so. that's so sweet. Yeah. That's so sweet. Yeah, so thank you, Terry. That's amazing. Um, amazing. And and the shipping wasn't outrageous. Yeah, it didn't, and I realize that's that out much. of her hands. But no, that's her pricing. Her, I yeah. I'm sorry, but I, I feel like she could charge more. A lot more. Because when I saw the price, I was surprised. Because yeah, that's beautiful. Work. Especially for the quality. quality, and not just the quality of her sewing and stuff, but the fabric is They're super nice. Beautiful. It's just really nice. Very fabric. durable it's, and gorgeous. Yeah, this bag. Is, yeah, you can't. Yes, so I love it. So pretty. Yeah. So. Wow. I mean, you guys know we have a problem with bags. Obvious <laughs> kind of problem addicts, with bags. But oh my gosh. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Big problem. What are you gonna do? I'm just gonna keep buying bags. Although I don't really use these much. I don't either. Okay. Well, we can definitely do that as a giveaway. For sure. Yeah. But, yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. We're gonna keep the nice. Bag. But again, you could see them in the future. It's you just will. right now we're yeah. gonna be. Giving Playing them some with love. them for a little while, yeah. We're gonna break them in a we're little gonna, bit for you. We're gonna <laughs> run them through their paces. Give, give you a full-on <laughs> review of That's everything right. about them. Well, I have to say, like speaking of full-on review, yeah. Um, where is that? Did I already take it out of my bag? I might have. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Nitty oh. McPurley. I oh. just have to shout her out again because I had gotten this. Devin had sent this to me. Well, I, the I, I think I purchased some. The, the hand balm, the peony. Yeah. And I, I had said last podcast that the smell was not super strong. Yeah. But after using this hand balm for the last three weeks now, I keep it right next to my chair. And I have it on like right now, which I can still feel it. And I've washed my hands. Okay, I need some because I've been It my is fingers. amazing. Like, I just love the feel of it on my hands. And... Problem solved with the scent thing. Because what I did was, I have some Lolo, Lolo, Lolo bar? What is it called? Barmaid. Barmaids, Lolo. yeah. Lolo, whatever. Oils next to my chair, too. And I just took a couple of Mr. Darcy, that scent from her, and squirted it in here. Oh. Rub it in, and it just, you know. So if That's you want, a great so idea. if you want more scent and you're not, you're not, you know, you want more scent than what this has, which this is a nice, subtle scent. It's not strong. It's not overwhelming. You know. I might have to get some so of this. So it's fine. No, I love the feel yeah. of it. I feel like it's so nice. And I don't feel greasy when I put it on. I feel like. I just have such dry skin. Oh, yeah. yeah. I just feel, well, I feel like with as much as we wash our hands and just, and it just feels good. Feels good to rub on your hands. I'm always using stuff like this. Yeah. Constantly. So I love, I, I. I don't know what her mixture is or how she makes it, but I really like it a lot. And so I just wanted to shout it out again because I felt like last time I was complaining about it not being strong enough scent, but I was like, oh my gosh, who cares? Like, Yeah, and you guys, I, I mean, most of you, beautiful. a lot of you have been watching us a long time, mm -hmm. and so you guys know, but if you're not mm -hmm. familiar with the way we ramble on about stuff, mm -hmm. just because we say something mm -hmm. like maybe not glowing right. about something doesn't mean we're dissing it. It's right. just we say whatever mm -hmm. We were just on, it's like we're talking with friends. Yeah. We're not here as influencers right. or trying to sell something or push yeah, something. Yeah. Um, being, mm -hmm. being people that are, mm -hmm. uh, like representing products. Right. We're just telling you yeah. honestly, like, I mean, I kind of feel a little bit bad now about how I was saying about that pattern. Mm. Um, I didn't mean to sound so negative, mm. but it was just me venting to, yeah. to you guys because, you know, this is what we do. Right. But right. we're not 
Yeah. You know, you yeah. saying that it didn't have as much smell as you, that doesn't mean it's not well, a no. awesome product. No, and the thing is, it's a plus to so many people that don't Absolutely. want a, a strong scent. So to me, it's like some people would be like, thank God, it's well, I not I love your perfumed. idea of putting a little bit of oil yeah, in there. you can just put a couple drops. And they're essential oils, so yeah. they're fine for your skin. And yeah, and to me, it gave me that extra scent that I wanted. Yeah. And I would do the next that time with I my use, like, yeah, um, that's what I'm saying. Almond. You could do yes. the vanilla almond. You could squirt, you yeah. know, drop a little bit of that on there. So, but the feel of it is what I absolutely love. I was like, this feels so nice. It's just so. It I mean, my yeah. hands definitely feel soft, but not like I don't want to touch greasy. anything now. Yeah, yeah, I feel like I can go right into my knitting and not feel like, ew. Of course, I don't mind getting the stuff on my knitting because then it just makes no, it smell good. No, I love it good. too. I yeah. love it too, but you don't feel like your hands are greasy yeah. or too greasy to touch stuff. Like, it's it rubs in very nicely. And, yeah. And, and I even washed my hands when I got here, but I can still feel it subtly on me, and it's nice. It's very nice. So I really like her combo. And she's coming out with her own wool wash. Oh. Soon. It's in testing right okay. now. She's having some people test it, which Devin, you know, I would gladly test, you know, any products you yeah. put out. Um, just FYI. But <laughs> uh, I can't wait for that. She said it's her favorite by far. And oh, she said, I, you know, she knows she's a little biased because she made it, but she said it's really good wool wash. So I'll be curious to try that, too. That'll be nice. fun. Nice fun to try it so anyway she it's it's a great product i really really like it so. yeah i'm gonna have to get on there and yeah see if she has any available yes and it's a great size too i feel like that's a good it's a nice size tin you know i will tell you not to take away from her mm -hmm. products but because we're always talking about tuft wool yes. and how much we love them yes she's always done them in like the little deodorant kind of thing mm -hmm. but now She's got them in tins. Nice. Yes. Nice. I don't know that I necessarily like that better. Yeah. It's, I mean, I'm not. I'm not advocating for one or the other. I'm just. I thought yes. it was neat that she yeah. that she yeah. made that change because then you can at least reuse the tins if you want Definitely. to. And then Definitely. maybe she'll do like um, Lolo did, and you uh -huh. can just buy refills. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that'd be great. That yeah. Be that'd good. be nice. That'd be awesome. Yeah. So so many great products. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. And we're <laughs> here to we're here to try them all. <laughs> we are. We are. Little, uh, mm -hmm. They're just showing off. Yeah. They're out in the sunshine. We're They're... stuck inside. Yeah. <laughs> stuck in here with you guys. No, no. No. I told Michelle, we do need to find a spot outside that we can podcast from because as the weather gets nicer, although they probably make too much noise. I don't know if we could be out. Well, that we could condemn them to the house. Mm -hmm. You boys have to stay inside now. That's right. My husband's so pathetic in the rain, you know, when we've had this massive mm -hmm. rain, and he's like a little boy that stands and looks out the window just waiting Watching for it to the stop. Clouds. Yeah, so he can go back outside and play. <laughs> Very funny. That's funny. Uh, well, remember David Dog Dare? Yes. So if you guys don't know, him. David, we love David. David yes. used to have a podcast, mm -hmm. and he doesn't really, I don't think he's recorded in a really long time. He probably mm -hmm. has other things going on in life like some people do. Mm -hmm. um, but More anyway, whatever. We love you, David. No, it's funny you speak of David because I have his llama he got us for Christmas that year, and I love that. And I'm one of those people that if my nieces and nephews broke anything in my house, I wouldn't care. Like, I'm just one of those people that you can touch anything. I don't care. My house is open to anything. But that llama, I love that llama. is like one thing yeah. sitting next to my chair that whenever the grand oh grandkids I'm not my grandkids my nieces whenever they come over they always want to play with my stitch markers and all that stuff but I immediately either move the llama or I'm just right there watching the I llama I feel the same way because I'm just like it. I love that llama I think yeah. it's beautiful it is beautiful and it has lit up sheep that I still have that in my family it's I still lit have up. the I sheep and the I, bowl I still time. have that green monster guy yes. from, uh, <laughs> We'll have to bring that out one of these oh episodes Oh my gosh, again. so cute. So we love David. We I wish he was on podcasting still. I wish he was we too. Don't see his face. I don't know what he's doing. Yeah, what but else one could thing he be he's doing? doing is he's shopping and sending us beautiful oh. candles. So he had these sent to oh us. Oh my gosh. They're just beautiful. Oh. With handles. Smell. Wow, they are gorgeous. <laughs> I know, aren't they so pretty? By this oh. company, Volspa or something. Yeah. I'm not sure, uh, but wow. I think it's so pretty. Mm -hmm. And I wow. think this color is gorgeous. It is and it's like a purple, gorgeous. but. So that's the thing. I say I don't like beautiful. purple, but then it's like okay, I see smell. certain purples. <laughs> yeah. That um, one's amazing. Yes. The purple smells so good. That's so sweet. Thank you, David. So sweet. So we can uh, figure out who. He sends the best gifts. He does find some very nice things. He does. Things. He's a good He's shopper. He's a good shopper. He's a good shopper. Yes. Can he give our husband's hints on shopping? <laughs> David, 
David, you just need to start podcasting again. We don't care if you haven't been knitting. I know. Just talk about just, life. Yeah, just yeah. be there and yeah. tell us stuff. Yeah, yeah. Entertain us. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Thank you. That's yeah, so, so very sweet. sweet. So sweet. Oh, that's lovely. It's getting warm in here, huh? I think it's getting a little warm. You're thinking about David or because you're really hot? That was bad timing, wasn't it? <laughs> Didn't mean Dave to make it weird. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. He'll appreciate that. Yeah, he will. <laughs> yeah, we want to see more of your videos. Yes. <laughs> okay, good enough for you, David. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Sorry. <laughs> That's funny. Now what? Uh, speaking you of that kind of thing, do. Uh, my friend Terry at work, he was watching one of our podcasts. <laughs> I, was, I was joking with him. I was like, are you watching like late at night? Like where are you watching us from you know but he mentioned your hair how you have cool hair he said because of the gray cool, he said you had cool hair i don't he just liked your hair well let's so. talk terry thanks so. <laughs> <laughs> tell me more so he liked your hair so okay, that was nice thank yeah. you thank you yeah yeah so anyway do you like my hair i love your hair i've always loved your hair I like are your you hair. kidding me because i have flat straight hair so when i see curly hair i'm like oh i wish i had curly hair i wish i had more hair I wish i had thick hair but whatever you know then you want straight hair sometimes. So, you know, you yeah. can't have everything. Um, yeah. 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 Well, uh, okay, so we just watched this thing called Candy. Mm. It's a true crime, uh, like it's, it's not, it wasn't a documentary. It was based mm. on a, and I think loosely based. I okay. think there was probably a lot of liberty taken, but, mm -hmm. um, and I don't remember what network it was on. Yeah. But the, it was a case from the 80s, mm. and the gal who kills her, who kills this other gal mm -hmm. she had you know the short short curly hair mm -hmm. um and you know the big glasses and this was like 1980 mm -hmm. and michael was like look at that hair and i was like that is why for you know mm -hmm. most of my life yeah. i straightened my hair yeah, yeah because that's what curly hair used to right, be right, like in the right. 80s when yes. i was in high school and stuff yeah. it was this awful yeah. just just you know like they've come a long way mm -hmm. with with mm -hmm. products and ways to do stuff and, and accepting curly and, hair and ex people yeah, and no. not wearing it super short so it i mean like yeah. janine looks great in yes, her short yes, curly hair yes. some people do yes yeah, some people, most people don't. yeah and remember like marcia marcia is the was lawyer? she the prosecutor yeah. in the mm -hmm. oj case mm -hmm. hers was awful too yeah. same yeah. thing that was early 90s yeah. so yeah. you know we've definitely um we've evolved we've evolved yes, yes. Curly hair has evolved it's yes a lot it's more acceptable <laughs> oh my gosh well you know like and i used to feel that way like why do i want my hair straight because yeah. freaking curly hair people look crazy <laughs> now i mean <laughs> But definitely <laughs> back, you know, like... Yeah, they're not crazy now. No, no, now people with curly hair are totally normal. <laughs> they're the same ones. Down to earth, firmly normal, feet planted on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's the straight-haired people you got to worry about. That, I noticed you've got yours curly. I, I'm nice. curly, so I, people think I'm normal. Yes. <laughs> oh, All my right. gosh. That's funny. Um, okay, what else you got? Yeah. Okay, so I was at the beach a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah. And that, oh, that was another story. So Bob and I get to the beach. I booked it online. Yeah. The place looked gorgeous. Yeah. It was supposed to be right on the beach in front of Haystack Rock. I felt like we'd be able to walk out, get onto the beach. The place was a piece of crap. And I specifically did not text you that entire time because I thought she's having a great time at the beach. I don't want to bug her. It was, oh, so we get there oh. and... I didn't know this, which, you know, this is somebody who doesn't travel much, so I, a lot of it's me. Okay. But I get there, and I'm like, she she says, this is your room number. You have to go back out to the street, turn right, go down a block, and that's where your place is. And I'm like, okay. But I'm looking at the buildings right next to the check-in office, and the, that's what I saw online. And I'm like, okay, I have to go down the street. Okay, well, we'll get in the car and drive. So we drove down the street, and we're looking for our number. And I'm like, I see this piece of crap-looking, shacky-looking oh, no. house that looks nothing. It's not even yes. painted the same color. It's not the same as what I saw online. And I told Bob, I was like, that can't be it. That can't be it. I said, that, that looks like an alleyway. You have to walk down this alley. There's garbage cans right outside the door. There's a fire extinguisher right outside our door. And I'm like, that can't be it. So he was like, well, let's just go try and see if the key works. You know, we go over. Yeah, the key works. We go inside. It is the tiniest little room. I can touch the ceiling oh and I'm five, six. So it's not that much higher. There's a teeny little crappy bathroom that 
is no, it's whenever I go somewhere, it has to be better than my house. And my house is not fancy at all. So, but it has to be better than my house. You know what I mean? Like if I'm going to pay money. I'm not going to go stay in a crap hole. You know shouldn't, what I mean? It shouldn't be a step down. No, it shouldn't be a step down if I'm paying right. money. So I just told Bob, oh. I was like, I can't, I'm not going to stay. I said, am I being weird? Am I being too, like I said, if I'm being too high maintenance, you tell me. Like I said, I'm fine. If you feel fine with this, then we'll stay here. But I said, I just, I feel like we paid this kind of money. Like I was expecting that, the other building, not, yeah. not this. What is this? And it was called something else too. The name was different. This is all sounding really familiar to me. Like, well, because I told you the story. Right? <laughs> no, this is I the didn't first tell you time the story? I'm hearing oh, this. Oh gosh! But I either know the place that you're talking of, or this happened at another location, and I'm not able to access the memory right now. But it's crazy. That is so wrong. Yeah. 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 Okay. So we go. And Bob said, "No, I hear you." He goes, "I get what you're saying." I said, "Yeah, I don't know what to do." I said, "I was just struggling." So I was like, "I don't want to be a beep." I'm not normally a high maintenance person. I'm willing to like, I like 10 people. Yes, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I'm like, yeah. if I'm going to stay somewhere, I'm going to pay money. And my husband and I never get away. Right. In the 26 years we've been married, I can count on one hand, maybe a couple fingers, how many times we've gotten away. Just the two of us without kids. Like maybe twice. It like it never yeah. happens. So I was so bummed. And so we get to the lobby and Bob's like, he tells the lady, he's like, I'm sorry, but um, this is not what we booked. You know, we didn't book this other name. Like, what is this? Yeah. And she goes, oh yeah, we own that property too. And the room you booked is called that. And I, I thought they just named every room a different thing. Sure. Like, I didn't know that it was meant it was a completely different building owned by the same company. I said, no, when I saw pictures, I was expecting it to look like well, this building right here, right next to you, you know, that's what I thought we were staying in. And she said, Oh no, the room you booked is, you know, one of our other properties that we own. It's this. And she, she brought up the picture. She was like, is this what you saw? And I'm like, well, I saw your first, what you first look at. I saw that. I wasn't looking because I assumed that your pictures on your first website page is what you're getting. I didn't look specifically at my rooms. Okay. I was like, yes, I need a queen size bed. I want a fireplace. Haystack Rock. Perfect. They made it Sounds sound great. nice. Yeah. They made it. The first page makes it look like that's what you're getting, you know? Mm. And so she said, well, I can refund your second night, but I can't refund you tonight because, you know, it's too late. And Bob was like, uh, no, that's not okay. You know? And he was like, um, and she said, well, I mean, I, you can talk to my manager. And Bob was like, yeah. Yeah, my name's Karen. Yeah. I want to talk to my manager. Yeah. And we don't do this normally. So... She gets on the phone with her manager and she explains to them, you know, and um, her manager said, yeah, refund their money. So, okay. which was, thank God. Okay. So then our dilemma is we're at the beach. We have no place to stay. Yeah. It's Friday. Oh like, my is it, Or Thursday. It was Thursday. Okay. Are we going to be able to find a place? Right. So he was like, all right, refund our money. So she refunded us. And then we just drove down the road going, hope we can find a place. Found a place. It said vacancy. We were like, let's just go in and try. We went in. The guy said, I've got two rooms available. And I said, well, can I see pictures? He goes, you know what? Better yet, I'll take you with me. Let's go look at it. And I was like, thank you. So we go look at it. It's an, it's like an apartment. It had a full kitchen, oh, nice. living room, two separate bedrooms, a bathroom. Oh, perfect. Like, it wasn't walk. I mean, we could walk to the beach, but it wasn't like right on the beach, which this other place was not on the beach either. Not by the time you and got And it was a room. long walk to Haystack Rock. It was not oh. right in front of Haystack Rock. So anyway, the guy was super nice, and it was the same price, which was crazy because this place was way, 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 be way better. And so, anyway, all that to say, I was at the beach, went to the yarn shop. It was and, a little stressful. Uh, it was stressful, but it just made me angry because I was like, we never get away. Yeah. And it's like, oh my gosh, it's not like we go to the beach all the time and stay yeah. for several nights. We don't go on vacation. So I was like, we're getting away, and we have to stay in this, you know. Crappy. I'm glad you guys spoke up and didn't didn't stay there. Well, sucks. we apologize to the lady after she refunded. I was like, I am sorry if I'm being a beep. It's I probably said, not the first time that's happened. I know, but I, yeah. I told her, I said, you're being, thank you so much for doing that. I said, literally, we don't get away ever. So I said, I really appreciate you refunding us because I said, I just couldn't stay there. And it, Oh, and it was a basement. Like there was a, no. yes, yes, that's the other thing. <laughs> it was a basement of a place. So we had somebody above us walking around so we could hear that. And right outside of our bedroom, two windows, a person parked right there. Like, here's our wall in our bed, and they parked right up against it. So Not it's like cool. you have a car coming and oh, going, lights gosh. shining. You know, I was just, it, it was yeah. crap. So, but anyway, what's in it shopping Cannon Canada Beach called? Um, coastal, coastal? Yes, Coastal, coastal Yarns, right? Coastal, coastal Knits. <laughs> so I saw this yarn, and I just thought it was really pretty. It reminded me of, and I won't be able to remember the name now, really expensive yarn that... 
a lot of people can't afford, and I'm one of those people. Um, I can't remember. I don't know what you're talking about. You guys will know maybe when you see this. But anyway, this is Bamboo Bloom Hand Paints. It's Universal Yarn. That's the brand. But I just thought it was very, I loved the aqua colors. I love pink, obviously. And I thought this would just be fun. And it's very, very soft. Fun something. What fun do you something. Do? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, do you have you any know? thoughts? Like a hat um, or a blanket? I was thinking or... maybe like, um, maybe a hat. I don't know. I hadn't thought of a hat. Something, I don't know, something soft. Oh, okay. And two skeins, you know, maybe it could equal something decent, you know, <laughs> I don't know. But it's rayon. It's 48% rayon, wool, and acrylic. So. It's fun. It's fun. Yeah. It's a fun, yeah, it's fun. It's just fun. So, picked those up, and then I picked up a skein for Michelle or something. So, she'll show that in a I bit. sure will. But, anyway, that, I just saw it, and I was like, I always try to, you know, we're always trying to look for something we don't have, or something uh -huh. that's a little bit unique. And I felt like this was <laughs> like, I don't have anything like this. It almost looks like, it is hand spun. And it's very loosely, um, you know. Um, plied. Plied. Thank you. So, and there's thick and thin and all that. Kind yeah, of stuff. that's fun. So I think it'll be fun in yeah. whatever I do. But. Cool. So yeah. What about you? Well, Leslie got me the, uh, mm -hmm. you know, last time she gave me the barnyard knits. Yeah. Yarns yeah. for my birthday, but today yeah. she came bearing more It was more her gifts. birthday last week, last it, Monday. It was last Monday. Monday. I was so sad. We were supposed to podcast last weekend. And I was sad. It's then. okay. Mm -hmm. it, yep. I'm another year older. Another so, wiser. You know, I'll take the way it, it does hurt to look at yourself and see how much you've aged or whatever. Oh. Um, yeah. You know, or like just the little things. Yeah. You know, but yeah. I wouldn't go back. I feel really bad for people that are young these days. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I'm very happy where I'm at now. Yeah. I mean, I'm not happy with my weight and all that kind of stuff, but you know, yeah. more important things. There so. are, I mean, it, yeah, I mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. So anyway, yeah. isn't this pretty? This is by the Blue Fiber Company. Who he's in Portland. Yeah, and he has, he sells in there. He has the so best cool. uh, cashmere. It's a merino cashmere base, mm -hmm. and all of his. I don't know that he does anything not on that. Yeah. Oh, and look, it's called Haystack Rock. Fun. That's Perfect. the name of the skein. Yeah. So Perfect. it's very pretty. Yeah. And like I said, I love I love his base. Yeah, he has so. really really nice quality yarn for yeah. sure. It's really pretty. So thank you. Now, and since we're showing that, I'll go ahead and show yeah. the other stuff because this is really yeah. cute. She got this at the beach too. Yes. We went to a little art I love, studio. I love stuff like this. That. I do too. I know. I just it's, think it's pretty. It's Reminded really cool. me of the beach, the blues. It totally does. It's, mm -hmm. Yeah. The coral color. Yeah. Yeah. And a Tuft Woolens Mountain Lodge yes. oil. Um, you know, the roll on kind. That's which my favorite scent right now. So it's lovely. It smells really, really good. I'm not going to take the time to open it right now, but I know that I like it too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It'll it's a good smell. It's really good. Yeah. And this is so cute. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Little glass box full of Glass minis. box with minis. Yeah. Does it get any better, really? I know. I know. That one's really exactly. Pretty. And you said these are um, so, so happy, happy Jane. Jane. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some pretty colors. So pretty. Fun, fun. And these are all very nice gifts. Yeah. Very nice. So fun. Oh gosh. Uh, Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'll show a picture. Of it. Um, this is nice. You just have to show that. Yes, that's because fun. this that's this was nice. just so adorable. I love like you as soon as I saw it at the beach. Did I take the price tag off? Oh, I took the price tag. I'm not going to look. Um, salt and pepper shakers. Yeah. Is that not the cutest? So fun. I love it. So cute. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Cute. So fun. Fun, fun. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Sorry, I couldn't be here. It's okay. I know. We were going to go to dinner that mm -hmm. night, oh, yeah. but um, Rebecca, my daughter, my young, uh, oh, oh, sorry, um, my youngest daughter who lives at Longview, mm -hmm. her and her boyfriend were able to join us if we went Tuesday night. Oh, so we okay. went Tuesday night nice. and we went to this place, kind of a hole in the wall. It's called the Hop and Grape. Hmm. But they have good beer, yeah, lots of beer on top, and their food is actually oh, nice. pretty good. What so, kind of food is just all American? Yeah, or? pretty much. Okay. Like the first, the only other time we've gone there, I had a burger, mm -hmm. and it was really good. Oh, and nice. they had moose drool on tap. Mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. our favorite beer. Yes. They didn't have it this last yeah. time, but um, we promised to have it back. Next yeah. Time. Come on, guys. Yeah. But, you know, sometimes there's a little hole in the, like someone yeah. asked me, um, well, my mother-in-law was like, well, I like to go to Monticello, hmm. you know, um, and my brother did ask me, well, are there any nice places up there to go? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, Prom- maybe, yeah. but I yeah. don't care about that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't, um, and I think it's totally fine for people that do, Totally. but yeah. like getting dressed up yeah. and going out to eat at a nice right. restaurant. I mean, yeah, when I was in my 20s, that was fun. Yeah, yeah. In my 30s, it was unheard of because I had my kids. Right, right. Um, and now it's like, I mean, now I'm in my 50s. I didn't mm-hmm. mean to try to pass over the 40s, but yeah. I mean, it just doesn't. Yeah. It just doesn't. No, to me, nice is McMinimins. Yeah. And I'm like, McMinimins, you can wear whatever the heck you exactly. want. But to me, it's like, I like moody, dark. I like those kinds of places, like places that make you just, I don't, that you can just sink back into and, and you don't feel like more. you're on display. Yeah. Um, yeah. I just like dark. I don't know. Yeah. Like the lighting's better in those places. You, know, you yeah. look better in dark. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> you can wear your pants with the elastic. Right. <laughs> Nobody cares. Exactly. Nobody cares. Yeah, yeah exactly. Exactly. Anyhow. Well, fun. Well, um, this was a new knitter to me. I, I have knitter. Dyer. I hadn't heard of her before. The Wicked Knitta. Oh, yeah. Didn't we just talk about her? Did we talk about her because you said that you ordered yarn from maybe, her? Maybe, maybe that's it. Because, no, I I had that name written down in my notebook. Oh, and okay. So, I'm so assuming, maybe that's why. Maybe yeah. That's why. Yeah, but this is King of the Beasts. It's her merino wool nylon fingering weight. And I just, I liked the subtlety of it. I liked the new neutral. That'll be a great neutral. Yeah, I think it's a great neutral. And I don't have a ton of Is neutrals. this also from her? Yes. Okay, you. you yes. did. No, you okay. showed some pictures. Because yes. I remember when I saw that, I was like, oh. Because yeah. I don't really know what I think of that I don't either. type of yarn. I have several skeins of other dyers that have done this. And oh. I'm curious to try it sometime. I might just put it in one of my blankets, too. I don't know. I but don't know. with those, co- I like it mm-hmm. with the pinks and stuff. It's, it's cherry really blossom. It's her cherry blossom color. Yeah, it's interesting. I think it's very interesting. Because it looks slightly hand spun. Because okay. that's kind of the barber pulling is kind of what oh. you get sometimes with, with hand spun if you have two colors. Um, so, I, mean, I don't know. I'm you curious. You weren't thinking spin cycle, were you? That well, no, when you were no, talking no, about okay, no, um, gosh, I wish no, I could that's, remember. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to break. No, it. I know, I just I wish <laughs> I could remember because it is very, it's very popular. A lot of people love their their crazy yarn, and it's beautiful, but it's just really expensive. But spin cycle is because I have zero idea what you're talking about. I know, and if it's because I'm not hip, I don't stay up on no, things I'm not that either. people know. I don't know. I need more than I am, no, though. I don't, know. <laughs> I don't have time for that kind of stuff, you know. Um. Yeah. Well, here I'm going to show these yes, real quick. Jacinta, something. our friend across the yes. pond, who's always, who never forgets a birthday. She's so amazing. I like, know. She sent me. So sweet. I think these are the same. Uh, same it's, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's called Exotic Fairy Garden. Mm-hmm. And then DK Weight. That's just a fun name. Totally. Exotic totally. Fairy Garden. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Um, Snuggly Stars Yarns, made Does in he, England. Oh, okay, I was going to say, is so, it Dyer where she's it's at? It's a very nice, soft yeah, base. Yeah, it's very soft. So, yeah. super sweet, thank yes. you. Make some pretty socks. It totally would make some pretty DK, socks. since you're liking the DK. I am trying yeah. to, to be stocking up on some DK yes. for di- and <gasps> as an Oh, gosh, okay. sorry, I think it's Knit Collage. <laughs> knit Collage. I think that's what it is. Oh. Yarn, Knit Collage Yarn. Interesting, yeah, I haven't heard of that. Yes, see, they do all the crazy, wild, oh my god, no, ribbon, I have ribbon not yarn. Heard of any They're of that. very popular. Oh. But people knit big, oh. bulky, fun, funky stuff with their. Um, I used to buy some stuff that was like that when I was doing those baby cocoons. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. That's what I'm saying. Like they do cool, beautiful okay. patterns. So look up knit collage on Instagram. I'm totally. But their stuff tends to be pretty spendy. Uh huh. You know. Well, the stuff that I had bought uh, to do those baby cocoons back yes. when we first started knitting, mm-hmm. and they were done on the super huge needles. That's super cute. I would totally wear that. Yeah. That's, yeah. Um, I know that those things, those skeins, mm-hmm. and were very expensive, and so I'd only bought a couple. Yeah. And then I did this like class thing when um jj had that shop in oregon yeah, city yeah where some gal came in with all these remnants of these mm-hmm. different yarns and we 
put them together yeah. and made our own skeins. Totally. I still have that. I've yeah. done nothing with it. I'll have to, if I remember, yeah. I'll put it in my podcast bag so I can show it. But they do beautiful. I mean, they come out with a design, I don't know how often, oh. but they're very funky, big, bulky, but they're gorgeous. But their yarns are just Just not ever heard pricey. of this. Yeah, knit collage. They're very, huh. yeah, they're, they're pretty popular. But I've, oh. I've wanted to buy some of their yarn, but every time I go, I'm like, Oh my gosh, it's only 88 much. yards and it's that much because oh. it's so bulky, yes. you know, but you're yeah. just like, how many would I need to make this? Much? I know that is the problem. You'd need a lot of them. So Unless you make a, um, a baby pod thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't need as many. So when I saw that yarn at the beach, I was like, hmm, it looks some, it looks Definitely. similar, you know? Yeah. I don't think that it's similar. So yeah, that's fun. You know what we'll do right now just because they're in front of me? What are we gonna do right Let's now? Let's do our giveaways. Okay. Because you know, last time we asked, uh, our, our prompt was, are you an innie or an outie? Right. And when Leslie told me that she pulls from the outside, mm -hmm. I really thought she was gonna be the major the minority. I really oh, did. Okay. I okay. thought that most of us pulled from the inside. Mm -hmm. That just seems like the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. Okay. And no, I'm serious. I was like, mm -hmm. I was so surprised that you were an outie. Mm -hmm. And so we put it out there and I stopped counting like after 150 mm. votes. I was just like, I can see a trend here. Mm -hmm. okay. And it was at the end of the day, it was fairly close, mm -hmm. but the Audis won. Really? I, I think, like I said, I didn't end up counting wow. everything, okay. but the trend that I was seeing mm. was, mm. so did you have mules casting votes? I did. I, did. Uh, I, yeah. I was shocked. So, yeah. um, See, and I'm shocked that there's so many innies. Because to me, I'm like, yarn barf. I hate yarn barf. Like, really? Like, I always pull from the out just because I'm like, I don't have to deal with that crap. Well, and that was what most people said. Yeah. And the yeah. people that weren't innies, a lot of people said, well, I use you know, the condoms or, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I still think you get the yarn barf. Right. So yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and someone said, you don't get that if you don't wind them too tight. But honestly, I have no idea how you don't wind it. Like right. if you're just using your thing or yeah. drill, like I was using, mm -hmm. I don't know how you do that tight or loose or anything. Mm -hmm. I don't know how that even works. I wouldn't so, either. yeah. Um, but I decided to put together two prizes mm. so we could have an any and an Audi winner. Nice. Oh, that's sweet. And so the any winner will mm. get one of the stick things from Katrinkles nice. and um, nice. the Artistic Yarn by Abby. And I did go ahead. These are both a little over 100 grams. So you'll definitely Fine. be able to do socks. socks. Or, or if you want to do a hat or put them in a blanket. Mm -hmm. I don't care. You yeah. don't have to do socks. That was just mm -hmm. what had started our conversation. Yeah. Perfect. But so our Audi winner mm -hmm. is All Natural Nut Knitting. Mm. I don't know your real name. You can tell me. Mm -hmm. uh, and I hope you're, I hope both of you are in the United States because that's always our rule. Mm -hmm. But All Natural Nut Knitting is an Audi. But she also said that she's not into sparkle yarn. She's not into, it's just not her thing. So an Audi, you I mean, like sparkle. well, I mean, I don't know. There's a couple sparkles in here. You mm. might just find that sparkle is your thing. Mm. You might be like, okay, you guys won me over That's right. to mm. the sparkle. Yeah. yeah. But whatever. Yeah. So, um, that one and Fun. then our, I should have had you do the Audi since you're the, you can, you, you can discuss so the, the any winner is Sydney Evans. And Congratulations. She, she says that she does the any, she keeps it in a mat in the mesh part of an old pair of nylon tights. Mm. I think that was probably your original yarn condom. I mean, I think that was probably the original. Oh yeah, thing absolutely. Thing. I mean, that's probably yeah. how the idea came about. I think so. What else do you use old tights for? Uh, you know? I know. Um, anyhow, so the any, so both you gals, mm -hmm. uh, it's an assumption on my part. All natural nut knitting could be a guy. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, whoever you are, whatever gender you relate to, yes. please just send me an email or a message on Instagram. Mm -hmm. um, email naughtyknitwits at gmail.com mm -hmm. and send me your address and we'll get those out yes. to you. Yes. So fun. it was, it was, I was shocked. Like really, really I was really surprised. Wow. Yeah. Cause I thought who pulls from the outside, but you know what? A lot of people talked about were the lazy Susans. Mm -hmm. So of course, mm -hmm. I had to get one. <laughs> oh gosh! <laughs> oh, it's so fun because you guys know I love things that spin. You do you do? know that about me? I you love do. things that spin. Wow! And so, 
it was pretty fun nice. and I'm still using it. It's just, I had to be, it had to be available to bring mm -hmm. over. So mm -hmm. yeah, I had it sitting on my table next to me and I was using it, you know, spinning the yarn and stuff. And Michael just looks and he's like, you and your gadgets. It's yeah. just ridiculous. Yeah. Says the guy with every implement for he his does. tractor. He and does. He can't, so. he can't talk. And what was, talk. this was probably 20 bucks and his are thousands. So yeah, exactly. Uh, exactly. You know. But exactly. anyway, fun. I, it's fun. It's, I just love things. So now fun. you're an Audi? Have you converted um, completely? I'm, mm -hmm. I'm probably going to be one of those by, by, let's see, it's not bisexual because we're not doing anything sexual. Um, <laughs> you could. <laughs> I know. I knew that was coming and I just. Well, if you wouldn't have said that, I wouldn't have said anything, but you know, you said it. So I had to Because say it. I'm both an Indy and an Audi, I would okay. say. Yes. Okay. I swing both ways. You do? I, um, <laughs> but why would you swing both ways? Because to me, it's like, I never go, hmm, should I pull from the inside or outside? I always am like, no, I'm going from the outside. Okay. So if I, you... because if I can use this, I yes. want to pull from the outside because okay. it's fun. Because okay. I like to see yeah. it spin. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. I don't know. Yeah, I haven't, I, mean, I haven't decided yet, okay. to be honest. You you I have been trying it both ways just okay. so I could really... Like, it never would have occurred to me to be an Audi unless I was doing from both ends like I okay. do sometimes. Yeah. Otherwise, it would not have occurred to me to, to do an Audi. Um, Interesting. But since we had this discussion and so many people... So many smart people, so many you know, people intelligent like, people. I don't like there. yarn buyer fan. Yeah. So I thought, well, there's something legitimate about that, okay. and um, yeah. so I'm I'm just giving it a, I'm still evaluating. You're giving it a fair, fair but I time. I had to have the toy. Definitely. To Definitely. Well, I think it's good to have the toy because you have to really explore all the yeah the ways you could. Well, this definitely you know. lends to to my wanting to. Be an Be Audi. An Audi. Yeah. Cause it, I mean, anytime you can do something that involves something that spins, mm -hmm. that's the route I'm going. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's more fun. I'm surprised that I've not converted to an any because I don't have a toy like that. You, you know? need to get a toy like that. I might that. need to get one. Yeah. I need to get one. I don't know how you've done it all this time. I don't either. It. I don't either. But I don't even know where I'd place that. Like, I'm thinking, okay, that's how would problem. I, you know, yeah. I have to admit yeah. that yeah. that has been what yeah. has, uh, like, if I'm in my recliner and I've got, it right, reclined. I can it, put yeah. it at the feet area, and it does pretty much sit okay. there. Mm -hmm. And then if I have it on my table, it is a little bit awkward, but yeah. I'm going to make it work okay. because I like All it. Right. All Even right. if I have to get its own little stand, yeah, yeah, to or glue sit it to right your next table to or my... something, you know, do something, yeah, something yeah. permanent. That's funny. Yeah. Well, should we just go into giveaways? Well, should we keep? I, I, still, I, still, have, I still have. No, we still have community, community service. service. I just figured we'd do. Just community service? No, let's mix it up. Mix let's just it up? do whatever we want when we okay. want. Okay. Well, I just don't know what our prompt will be for these giveaways. But, well, you uh, were asking uh, something. Uh, you were contemplating something, and I was thinking that could be a giveaway was question. was contemplating something? But I don't remember what it was now. I don't either. I don't remember. Anyway, um, Tammy from A Chick That Knits. I had ordered her yarn and got it. I showed it on the podcast last time. This beautiful, this is that purposeful assigned pooling, pooling. assigned pooling. This is her turtle Which you dough. don't have to use it for You that, don't. You can use it for whatever you want, but I think it's an awesome idea. It's fun. So this is her extra fine merino nylon turtle dove, turtle love, turtle love, turtle dove colorway. Are you and losing your eyes like me? I know. So it's gorgeous and I love it. But I, I was like, too. of course, on Sparkle, it would be even better. Well, she messaged me and said... I can send it to you on Sparkle. I was like, oh my gosh, that's so sweet. So were you, so she did send it to me on Sparkle. And, just, and it is even better. Gorgeous. It is. I mean, I have to admit, you know, but they're both amazing. <laughs> they so, are. She also sent, so I'm going to use, we're going to use this as a giveaway. So you guys get to try out the assigned pooling if you wish. If you want. If yes. you don't. I, someone did a hat in it. I thought, oh my gosh, mm, the hat's really cute it's too. so pretty. No, yeah. I think it'd be awesome. And she also sent these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stitch markers. They're gorgeous. Um, they are absolutely Wait, She sent gorgeous. like five of them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we might have to keep a couple because they're so They're pretty. so delicate and they're cute. beautiful gold uh, uh, butterflies. butterflies. Yeah. They're gorgeous. So in this cute little tin. So we're going to give away that. most most of most them. Most of these. We had to keep, we have to keep one. Yeah, because they're just too cute. But, so anyway, this will be a giveaway. Yeah. Together. So well, thank like, you. Well, Tammy. I guess we'll let you know what the prompt is we'll in let a you minute. Know what the prompt is. Yeah, we'll think about it. But yeah. anyway, so sweet of her to do that. So thank you so much, Tammy. That was awesome and very sweet and generous of you. So 
Then do we want, do you have more community service? Oh, I do. Okay, well, go into your okay. community service, then we'll go back and forth. So okay. we've got that as a giveaway, which we have to think about. Okay. Well, I, I got these uh, from Dragon Horde Yarn. Mm. I love her um, stuff. That goes pretty. Yes. She, she is one of the dyers that in her shop, she sometimes has Sparkle DK. Mm. Because we've talked about the yeah. Sparkle DK yeah. and some people have given us some options. Mm -hmm. But I was on her site looking and realized, oh, she's got some. Oh, nice. So I was not sure which I was going to do, one of these mini sets mm -hmm. or some of her Sparkle DK. Mm -hmm. And she told me that she didn't have any of the Sparkle DK mm -hmm. at that particular mm -hmm. time. So that made it easy. I got yeah. this mini set, which I Those just are think gorgeous. gorgeous. Those colors are so Greek pretty. goddess minis. Oh. I know. They're just now, fantastic. Now, if they were on Sparkle, they Over would the be... Top. Oh, my gosh amazing yes. but they're gorgeous they're super gorgeous i love that kind of spin uh, whatever they call yeah. it what um, is that i don't know because that should... is a unique that's yeah. kind of unique that is they're all amazing they're all i'm loving that's this, my favorite yes, yes i'm loving this dark green devon um from knitting mccurly she's coming out with her own like signature colorways that oh. she will always have okay. you know like a grouping yes. of them and one of them is this deep, deep green. And oh, it is just nice. so pretty. I it's love like that. gorgeous. And it's like, it kind of reminds me of that. It's just a very moody, dark, I don't know. It's beautiful, beautiful. And what then she this? sent this. Um, they're stitch Ooh, markers oh, on a bracelet. Like a bracelet? Oh, interesting. I want to get them all facing the right way. Yeah. So, but I'm not going to. So, anyway, she has gotten into making these Very acrylic cool. stitch markers and I bought some a, a while ago mm -hmm. not a ton long ago yeah. but and I showed you one of them had the little mm -hmm. goldfish and they've yeah. got the little flowers in them they're just precious mm -hmm. I love them mm -hmm. um but very cool anyway aren't those so lovely? what do those have pictures what are those pictures what, oh my gosh throwing stuff around Drops. they're flowers oh flowers okay oh okay, great look. oh thank you you can handle okay. it still are they paint oh so they're not painted are they actual flowers real flowers in there well i think that's what she does with her other stuff is she uses the i don't know because i mean to me it almost looks like real flowers but then part of me is like no it looks like it's painted i'd I have to tell. look at her um website to know interesting i think it'd have to be painted yeah, probably. Yeah. Well, because like the goldfish one definitely doesn't have a little goldfish in it. Yeah. But the flower <laughs> ones might have little flowers that's in true. them. It does kind of look like it to me. That's true. I, I think it's painted. But the fact that I can't tell, I mean, that's pretty good. Yeah. It, it, it means it looks really legit, you know. It's very, those are very cute. Yeah. Fun. Yeah. That was very really nice. sweet of her to send. Yeah. Um, They're amazing. I haven't decided I yet if I want to share them as a mm. as a giveaway because you know more mm -hmm. people could see Enjoy them firsthand them. yeah but yeah. uh we'll see they're really pretty yeah, see what happens yeah cool well, i got minis too from a chick that knits oh, and tammy I, I, I got a couple of her i know seeing that, that it's that green that yeah. green blue again it's I, like and the one next blue. to it yes, oh my god yes these are amazing and that's a great pink they're oh, and the, gorgeous um i think one? This is gorgeous, yes. and I love that one. Me too. And that, and that, yeah. that one. I love and, that one too. Okay, good. See, I love well, you, you picked it. I it wasn't a set, right? Or it, was it? Yes, it's a oh, set. Oh, it was. Yes. Yep. Because I know hers, you can yep. go in and pick. I think it was. Yeah. It was I didn't a set. know she had any that were already put together. I wouldn't be able to come up with those myself. Oh, okay. Are you kidding me? Those are really pretty. They're gorgeous. But this juniper is just, juniper. I don't know. It's, it's like, gorgeous. it's so hard to show it on the camera because I don't mm. think it's showing it. But no, it's, it's just kind of beautiful black, blue but green. It's, it's, it's gorgeous. gorgeous. The one next to it. It's like they're, the, just, they're the best colors. They're so pretty. So I ordered that from her. That's real lovely. quick, I'm going to show this because it's from okay. her too. Okay. Check the knits. Oh, okay, really? Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, this is her Pegasus colorway, Surrey silk. Oh, so nice. Surrey silk, baby Surrey alpaca and mulberry silk. So Two pretty. Scenes of that. I thought those were beautiful. I really wish I could deal with that stuff. Well, this is that Surrey though. So I want to Yeah, I don't know because okay. I did use it in that one shawl, but okay. I don't wear the it's shawl. It's super so. duper soft. So I thought maybe I would use this in my ultimate blanket that I want to do with. Oh, with the piece. You know, with all the Yes. Oh, that would be it's so pretty. perfect. So we'll see. We'll see. But anyway, those are gorgeous. I love those. I really well, a new to me 
um, Dyer, mm -hmm. the Wandering Fiber Co. Mm. I got these. Aren't they so pretty? These, so they fun. just caught my eye. Like those are really pretty colors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, they look great uh, together too. They do. Oh, they're pretty. So I was very happy. They're just superwash and nylon and mm -hmm. color voice is one of a kind. So there you go. Nice, <laughs> nice. So fun, so fun. Well, knit style yarn, Sharon. I oh love my gosh, I haven't looked at her stuff in a long time. I love her stuff. I love her Those stuff. are really pretty. I'm not going to take out of there. Okay. But I got two of the same. They are, the color is Kitty Cafe. And oh. I just love the pinks and the blues. Absolutely. Those are so pretty. So fun. So fun. So I, mean, I, I definitely need to look yes. at her site again. Yes. Yeah. I thought it was a really pretty I mean, color. obviously, I don't need to. But... I know. None of us need to, uh, but I love her yarn. Her yeah. yarn's very pretty. She very does a great pretty. job. And she's, right now, her and her hubby are doing drinks. He loves to mix up different, you know, drinks, yeah. and so she's dyeing yarn based on those drinks. Oh, that's so that's fun. That's been very really cool. fun. This one's not one of those, oh. but but that's what they're kind of doing. Oh, so that's cool. Really fun. But yeah, but I love her yarn. Nice. Those. Well, I had to get the Barnyard Dense May color, mm. not because May is my birthday well, um, month. Okay. I just happen to really like the color. Well, it, it, they really both pretty. work together to birthday exactly. and you like the color. So. Uh, yeah. yeah. How could you say no? I know. Exactly. Exactly. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like we're doing show and tell. We are doing. I mean, that's exactly what we're doing. <laughs> show and tell. So of course I had to buy more linen quill because I'm crazy. I'm crazy, crazy. So I bought two skeins of each of these colors. I just love this one because it's kind of it's called lavender opal. See what's up with all these this purple, you know? And then this denim dark. That's denim. awesome. Yes. I love that color. So I might and do those, this together. Yeah. For my next for your um, next half and half. half, and half. That I want to do. Although you need three skeins of each, and I did two skeins of each, but then I have so much other linen quill in different colors. I thought oh, I could do could a couple totally. stripes of something else to make up for the third, or I could just buy one more of each of these. But you're right, you're going to do those, and you're you not going to want to give them away. You have to say that's oh. soft. You have to think that's soft. I do. That's I nice. love linen quill. I just love it. And is that the one that you've oh. paired with that other in your in that poncho that you're doing? Is it that? No. Oh, because no, oh, I really color. like that. Yeah. No, this is linen quill, it's, though. Yes. Okay, it's that, yes, it's it's that base. Quill. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yep. I, I just do. love it. You're so funny. So nice. I know. It's, it's The only concern I have is that it has the alpaca in it. Oh, and you can't do alpaca. Well, it kind of tends to bug me a bit. Yeah, it's only 35%. Though. I know. Yeah. 35%. I'm sorry. I'm trying not to mumble. I'm trying to talk louder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. I feel bad. And somebody, I had a couple of people say that. I was like, really? Do we mumble? Oh, you do. Well, it, I don't know that you we mumble. Talk you under talk my breath. Softly. Yeah, because mm -hmm. I can hear you. And I so know. you're, okay. and I think like when we're doing this, I talk louder than I normally okay. do. Okay. Like in a normal conversation, because yeah. I don't like talking loud. I know. I don't like being around loud people. Right, right, right. But when we're doing this, I specifically try to talk louder. And so you're probably thinking, why is she always she's yelling? So, yeah, she's, she's so such mad. A loud she's mouth. Angry. <laughs> okay, it's exactly what I think them. every single time. <laughs> and she's always why bitching are my about friends with her. Yeah. We've already discussed that. We don't know. <laughs> we don't know why we're friends. No, we're joking. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So I bought this oh, thing. That's fun. Um, that's so, so he's on Etsy. It's called Max Carpet Bag Works. I love carpet bags. I do too. And Queen Gables, her carpet bag. And he has some amazing purses wow. and knitting bags and stuff. Why did you have to tell me this? I know. I'm sorry, but I got this because. Um, because. So I've got my because. I've got my ID and a card in there, mm. and then. You know, it, show us your ID, your social security number. And it stuff. fits the iPhone. I've got the big, mm -hmm. huge iPhone, and it fits. Mm -hmm. And then on the other side, I keep my glasses wow. and a little money and, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then there's also a pocket right up front. It's so pretty. So it came with, it's got the little handle here. Can I make my Christmas request now? Or birthday, future birthday request? You do. Can but, I do that? Yes, you should go. Okay. Uh, it had a... It had another one of these circle things over mm -hmm. here, and then it came with this mm -hmm. chain. Oh, okay. So, so the other day, I was running errands, and I like this because I don't really like to have to take a purse. Right. If, if, Bulky, you know, yeah. yeah. Yeah, especially if you're going to the store. Mm -hmm. So if you want something that you can have on your body. Mm -hmm. 
And where you live, safety, you know. Yeah. Well, crime. wherever you live, <laughs> there's always thieves. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's true. Uh, love your neighbor, but lock your stuff up. It's kind of that sort of thing. Well, yeah. or it's like that cup I got my sister. Love your neighbor, just don't get caught. <laughs> I saw it at a, at a Goodwill. I was like, oh my gosh, I have to That's buy this. That's hilarious. <laughs> I don't think you told me about that one. Oh, I thought That's it was funny. funny. That anyway. is funny. Um, anyway, so it was pouring rain mm. and I had a couple returns to take to the UPS store for Michael. Mm. So I, I go, I, I put this, you know, I get out of the car and the chain breaks and it falls right into a big puddle. Oh gosh. It's like, okay, that didn't make me super duper happy, especially yeah. since my phone and glasses were both yeah. in there. So I think, I mean, I can probably, I could probably fix it somehow, but yeah. that would be my only, and I haven't done a review on the store yet because mm -hmm. I don't want to like complain, but I think right. that that shouldn't have happened. Right. But I love, I would buy from them again. Yeah, so yeah. it's not like, yeah. I mean, and look, that interiors are like really cute. I think it's so pretty. And I love anything in a wire frame. Mm -hmm. I just love, mm -hmm. I love those kind of bags. Yeah. So I, I did this just because I thought it's handy. Mm -hmm. Cause mm -hmm. I do, if I'm going anywhere, I need to have my glasses and mm -hmm. my phone. Yeah. And, um, so are you now just going to wear it around your wrist? I mean, that's how you're going to choose to carry it. I don't know yet what, what I'm going to do. do. Okay. Because, um, that's not as like convenient. at the store that won't work. Yeah. And I don't really want to just set this right. obviously in the cart. Right. Yeah. yeah. So I do have other, well, I would have to add a, I'd have to get the ring back on there. And I'm sure with a tool. I wonder if you could do like a leather, like a, a leather strap, but this probably wouldn't fit through there, right? Because it's too small. That's really small. I know. Wow. That hole is like, how tiny was that chain? Well, see, it, I think it was on a ring like that. And oh, then, it was. Yeah. Okay. I was going to say, if you had oh. to fit something. <laughs> no, I think the ring was just okay. there. So. Okay. So you need another I mean, ring. I think it's fixable. Yeah. But, it, but oh, yeah. It, it does kind of bug me that I just bought it and I already have to fix right. it. Right. But, well, I, I mean, those little things. Yeah, I, I think, think I will. Feedback, yeah. I think it probably is good feedback. Mm -hmm. Not in a, like, no. I'll probably send them a message versus leaving it in a right. review. Right, just, Yeah, yeah, yeah. See if there's anything they can do. Maybe they could send you a replacement chain. And then well, I still have the chain. You I still just, have the chain. You just have to fix it. Okay. I just have to fix it. And that's okay. not my strong point. But, no. anyway, I would definitely, I still would shop from them again. Mm -hmm. And, um. And they're on Etsy? Pretty sure they're on Etsy. I have to my, find them now. Oops. I have to find them now. Pretty sure. And uh, he does. He's got tons of bags that I really like. And, um, but anyhow. Yeah. So Interesting. there was that. And since you're shopping for something right now, <laughs> again. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I swear I'm going to try to just look. Oh, but you were talking about Devin mm -hmm. doing the colors. You know who else is dying yarn now? Mm -hmm. Yarn Junkie. Amber. Oh my gosh, why am I not remembering Yarn Junkie Amber? Well, I don't know. It's been a yarn while, maybe. Yarn Junkie Amber. And she lives in Texas. Yes. <laughs> why am I not remembering? I this don't know. Horrible. Okay, that's not weird. <laughs> <laughs> yarn Junkie Amber. You'll know Amber, her. Amber, yes. 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 Okay. She had a podcast. Yeah. She has two or three kids. Yeah. Big dogs. Yeah, and I think she's podcasting yes. again. I think Is she, she may have taken a reprieve for a while. Okay. Okay. But, uh, okay. Gotcha. <laughs> yes. So I remember details about her life. The big dogs, several, two, three, three girls. I think she has three girls. I think. Oh, good. How'd you find that out? Instagram. Oh, that's weird. I didn't see it. Well, it's like you with that yarn that I don't know anything that's about. True. Like how did that that's happen? True. I don't know. How do we allow yeah, that to happen? Exactly. You know? That's why we have each other. Yeah, that's right. We enable Between the two of us, we can stay on top of something. And buy all, I know. And buy all that, things. Isn't that, I love oh, that so, one. Yes. They're pretty. Oh, gosh. So I got some, my DK, these were pre-orders, so mm -hmm. I had talked about it before, but this is Cottage, Cottage Core. Why is it I don't love DK as much? Um, well, oh. I don't either like looking at it but for doing socks I totally really do. no that's the thing like and once like you're knitting into socks yes. I'm like that's such a great yes but I don't know if I love knitting with it I don't, I don't love know. knitting with it as much um, I don't know it's, why you know it well matter. it's just bigger on the hands but it goes yeah. faster yeah totally but, and then this one um always stay humble and kind mm. I just love those colors that's a great song great country song in fact I was thinking oh, of having is? that be my one of our I think that was a song yeah, I was thinking about having that be by Tim McGraw. 
Oh, I think that's, that's having know. that song, the Emmys in my dance. Oh, okay. Because we're going to dance, her and I are going to yeah. have a mother-daughter dance. It's a sweet, sweet song. Oh, the words are so good. So good. It's on my list, but I already picked my song for our oh. first dance. So. Which is what? It is... It's going to be a surprise. No, it's not a surprise. Okay. Emmy, uh, Emmy approved it. Oh, okay. But um, I would have to, I'll have to look it up. Everybody will know it because it's oh. like, it's a, uh, it's very, it's old. It's been around forever. How many of those did you want? Um, two is probably fine. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, okay. So you, I told you guys about the crochet hook. Yes. From Nelson Wood. Mm -hmm. And I was so excited about this, even though I thought it was a ridiculous thing to spend money on. Yeah. Um, and I, I probably shouldn't have bought it. <laughs> Um, you have buyer's remorse. Yeah. Yeah. I, here's the thing. Like he posts so many gorgeous pictures mm -hmm. and what I should have done is found one that I liked his picture of mm -hmm. and sent him a picture and said, I want that. Mm -hmm. But on his site, he has all these options mm -hmm. and I'm not good at that. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's hard. I don't know like about stuff Yeah, and reading, d you know, like descriptions of, there's just all these options of like, I don't know, balls oh, and sorry. circles and stripes. And I yes. mean, I just didn't get it. And so what I ended up with, um, like it's, it's, it's neat. Okay. These are little shells in there. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, it's really cool, mm -hmm. but it's kind of blah to me. I, oh. I know that's crazy to say. But some of them that he, sh like, I wish I had gotten just regular, not this color wood. Mm. And he has some that have, like, these bands around them that look cool. Mm. And I don't know, like. Interesting. I, it's not him, it's me. Mm -hmm. But that kind of ordering mm -hmm. is not for me. Like, I need to know. I like to be able to customize things, mm -hmm. definitely. Mm -hmm. I think that's neat. Yeah. But I need help. Yeah. I needed help with this. Uh, this was outside of my uh, expertise. So yeah. when I opened it, I was just like, I mean, it's neat. Yeah. I looked at his site and I mean, I saw some too, but I, I think I, f I feel like I'm probably like you. It's like, I need to actually like see it in person and like, like I would love to see these at a show. Yeah. Like a knitting show or yes. something that I could actually pick it up and go, oh wow, this is, because it's beautiful. I mean, like when you look at the freaking shells, that's like pretty dang cool. It's definitely a, a piece of art like it is and that's why i bought it was yeah. like have, i love to support people's totally, artistic totally. you know um have you crocheted with it yet a how does it bit. feel is it weird well it's kind of weird to me but i didn't buy it thinking i'd use it a whole lot oh okay. you know okay. i mean it really was just one of those novelty items yeah. it was just pretty i crochet best with my tulip hooks yeah because i'd be curious to crochet with it to see if i if i liked it or not like how how would i maneuver it it's different I'm like curious. it's supposed to be ergonomically better mm -hmm. but i don't i only used a little bit yeah because then i put it in my bag for today yeah um yeah it'd be interesting. like i love the little shells in mm -hmm. it the shells are cool i right? think the guy does amazing work so mm -hmm. i'm not i mean if you want to spend that much on a crochet mm -hmm. hook because you want a work of art yeah it's just looking at this one i don't think it's as stunning as mm -hmm. it could have been had mm -hmm. i gotten better input or you know if mm -hmm. i had better understanding mm -hmm. about what i was getting and i kind of knew that when i was ordering it because I, I didn't really understand right it. he right. has instructions it's not like you know yeah, yeah. but he also says on this thing that he will not give recommendations mm -hmm. and so i which did, i get oh he doesn't he'd be know innovative. you he'd be i know like, and then i don't be, know what you like and exactly yeah that'd be tough that'd it, be tough. so i i get it i just yeah I definitely would have done that, but I will never be at a show where his stuff is going to be. Yeah, no. I can't imagine it. Oh, okay. Is he going to come out here? Probably oh, not. Am I going to go know. somewhere that he's at? Probably not. Right. I mean, you know, yeah. just because I don't go places and stuff. True. Maybe, if I, maybe he'll come to your house. If I lived in a metropolis somewhere, <laughs> yeah, true. You know, true. odds would be better. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's it's a beautiful piece mm -hmm. of work it is it is it could have been better had i done better at ordering yeah is all i'm gonna which that happens a lot i mean you know it what i mean like lot, that yeah. is the one thing that's bad about ordering things online is yes. that you think you're getting what you in your head are thinking it is yeah and then when you get it sometimes it meets that what that vision you have in your head and sometimes it doesn't right and it's not it's nobody's fault it's yeah. just it's not what you thought you know yeah yeah so 
Yeah, it has. So whatever. So the song my daughter and I are dancing to is Fleetwood Mac, mm. Landslide. Mm. Great song. All the time my girls have grown up, whenever I've heard that song, it just moves me. You know, some songs just oh, yeah. get you. Yeah. And it's like every time I hear that song, it makes me think of my girls and like raising them and like just... I don't know. And I don't even know what the song's meaning truly is for. It could be a romantic song. I have no idea because I don't get it. But when I hear it, it totally makes me think of my girls and makes me just them growing up and we're all getting older and, you know. So anyway, <laughs> that's going to be our song. So, Aww. But anyway, so my last thing that I purchased was Ruby Moss. Her name's not Ruby. Joyce. I love, love that Joyce. Yeah. So she has a podcast. Um Ruby Moss Cottage podcast, which I absolutely love. I love Joyce. And she just came out with, I don't know, maybe she's had patterns before. I could be completely wrong, but she just came out with a two sock patterns that she created herself, which is awesome. And so I wanted to support her. And so this one I thought was super cute. It's her hearts of foot socks and it actually has a heart on it. And the thing that got me was first of all, it's a pretty sock, but also they're shorties. And I was like, you know how I have not finished a sock in who knows how <laughs> long. And so I thought, okay, this is what's going to get me to finish a sock, you know? So we'll see if it works out, but I haven't even cast it on yet because I have the poncho. You're not in a place I feel like I can't do right anything now. else. <laughs> So anyway, but I think it's so, I want to see super if that's the cute. one. Did you get both the patterns? I just got one? this one because I felt like Leslie. Yes, you could buy both, but they'll probably just sit there. So yeah. I wanted to buy one and I want to see if this is the one that I really like. I thought it was really. Cute. I think it. Is. I wish there was a one more picture. It'd be yeah. nice to have one more picture because I feel like that picture doesn't. It it's cute, but it does it shows the heart a little bit. Oh, there's a heart. Oh, there. I didn't even notice. Yeah. yeah, what I had noticed when she posted them on Instagram mm -hmm. was the cute ruffle. Yes, that this does Is have the ruffle. Okay. Yes, and that's I think it's really cute. So yes. check out her Instagram if you want to. You probably would see better pictures of it on yes. Instagram. Yeah. Um, I just watched her podcast and was like, oh my gosh, those are really cute. And she shows them on her last podcast. Okay. So watch that if you want to. So Ruby Moss Cottage podcast. She's amazing. But um, anyway, so I just thought it was really really cute and. And again, it's a shorty sock, so I thought I could do that. I want shorty you know, socks. I could do that. In fact, when I was knitting Michael's socks sock, um, <laughs> I got you know the heel turned, and I was like, well, how how much do you? Want? In fact, I put it on his foot. I'm mm -hmm. like, how how far up do you want? You it actually to go? put it on his foot, or did he put it on his own foot? I think I did. Wow. Uh, well, if I want something like that done, you've got to you do know. it yourself. <laughs> I mean, he works his butt off all the time, yes. but putting to his put own a sock, sock on. on eh. It's over the top. Over the top. <laughs> and handle but it. But he wanted it like, you know, he's like, well, probably up, you know, whatever. And I was thinking, no. Well, that's the You know what I mean? I want to be like, done with you. Yeah. Because yeah. I want to get back to my day. Totally. Because <laughs> we're so selfish. <laughs> we are. Oh, so, so the so last funny. thing I have to show for community service, I totally shouldn't have bought. Another thing I should. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is all of our regrets. I know this is the this is the buyer's remorse podcast. Why do we do this? Oh, I saw this too. Oh yeah, <laughs> you wish. No, 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 I love it. I know, I know. I'm using it as a giveaway. Okay, yeah. it's so pretty. Anyway, well, our friend Clara down in Oregon City had sent me yes. a message about some. I don't know why she's talking about the shop up in Seattle mm -hmm. called. It's called Little Knits hmm. that she typed little nicks no oh. and i thought well that's cute you know before we figured out that she typed the wrong thing i was like that's a great name for your you know because yeah. my stepson is nick yeah and so i went to it and was looking and they i don't know why but um <laughs> this <laughs> set of addy crochet hooks why not <laughs> were on sale okay well there okay. you go they there were 25 percent off wow Oh, that's a good deal. That's good. That's I good. mean, there's I I like the tulip crochet hooks. Um, They're my favorite. <laughs> Why does she and, need more? And do you need multiple crochet well, hooks? Maybe. No. If you have multiple because, products, no. then you can just take them yeah. out. That's I mean, true. that totally works for knitting needles. That's true. I've that's got true. tons of knitting needles, and I feel like totally justified. Yeah. Crochet hooks, there's no good reason. Mm -hmm. Except that it's fun. They're pretty. They're, They're colorful. They're different colors. What do they look like? They look ribbed. Are they ribbed? For your pleasure. I, get, I mean, that's what um, I'm wondering. It's like, why yeah. are they ribbed? Oh, those are interesting. I don't know if I like that. Do you know if you like them? I Like I said, my favorite are the two. I know. They just, they're hard plastic. I wanted to try it. And now I have this. I don't know. Like, I don't know if I'd like oh, that. Oh, they're not my favorite. They just, it's weird because like, my crochet, and this isn't Tulip, I don't know what brand this is, just from wherever. 
They have a soft ones. But they're just nice. They're kind of soft, you know? And to yeah. me, they almost feel more ergonomically. Like, they're flat here. I yeah. don't know. Like, it's a little rubbery. It feels yeah. soft. That doesn't feel... Soft. It doesn't even feel nice. Like, I feel bad saying that, but no, that doesn't, I, it doesn't I feel mean, nice. Yeah, so, so I bought this set. And it feels cheap. Don't you think it feels kind of cheap? I don't know. I don't know. I don't like them. And like these, are like my, these are cheap. These are cheap, but my, they feel nice uh, at least. Tulip you know? ones. Let me feel that for a sec. Yeah. Feel my rubber? Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't that feel nice? I do kind of like that. See? Yeah. I really like those. Those yeah. are my favorites. So that was the nitpicks ones? But no, they're just, oh. for, I think they're just oh, from like Michaels. From Amazon. I, oh. I think these are just from Michaels oh. or somewhere cheap. Like, well, I love my tulip ones. Yeah. I don't know what I was thinking, <laughs> but I, okay, I like that they're different colors. Yes, they're I'll, pretty. They're I'll pretty. Confess to yes. that. I well, like. they're pretty. I wouldn't say they're pretty. They're they're colorful. They're colorful. Because I think the reds are not. I don't know. I don't love the. I don't know. But, yeah. So you can see why I have why she bought them. Exactly. <laughs> what was I thinking? Well, the I don't case know. Case is nice. Uh, it holds. It, it holds does. them. I guess I could take my other crochet hooks and put them in here. There you go. <laughs> I don't go. know why I bought these, you guys. I know. So I wasted a bunch of money. That See, I have a problem to too. Better I know, I know. I have to quit. I have to quit. No, I just want to buy better things. Yeah. Yeah, do better. Do better. Do Kat, better. Do better. People are expecting better. I know. I, what a... Uh, so. Well, um, okay, so one more giveaway. But we have to find out what we're going to do for all these giveaways. Why don't we hold off on this one? Okay. Till next time. But then, I'll, yeah, that's true because she's no longer selling yarn. Right. So, um, so it's beautiful yeah. yarn from Artistic Lily, and she's no longer done. I mean, you can show it, but let's just okay, wait till next wait. time to do a giveaway. So I wanted to support her because she's she's no longer dyeing yarn, and her yarn's beautiful. I have she lots, had a I have great several, run. Yeah, she I have great. several skeins of her yarn. Me too. So I bought this, and I think it's beautiful. It's the it, the colors are the same ones, mohair ones, fingering, single ply. Uh, but this is her vintage Thanksgiving. I just thought it was beautiful. really pretty. I thought it was beautiful. It's wrapped up in a beautiful bow. <laughs> so it's very pretty. So it'll come together as a giveaway. So we'll do this maybe next time. So we have a couple of giveaways this time. So maybe we'll save this for fall because it's vintage Thanksgiving. Well, pre-fall. Pre-fall, before fall. So yeah, you can use it for yes. fall. That would be perfect. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, she's not dying yarn anymore. So I feel like this is almost like... Not an antique, but it's like, you know. Collector's item. A collectible. Yeah. Because yeah, you can't get it. Totally. So anyway, I'm sad about that, but I'm happy to have it as a giveaway. So. Yeah, yeah and if you need a set of crochet hooks, I'll make a good deal. Yeah, hit her up. <laughs> <laughs> She'll give you 10% off. Yeah, <laughs> which would be 35% off total. No, I was saying sell it full price, but give it 10% off. Oh, you actually so I'd make money on the day. Oh, your money's better. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, no, I just... Uh, yeah. I know. There's times you buy things and then we think, why did we do that? Totally. Yeah. And it, yeah. it's painful when it's like a couple times all in... Yeah. All in... Like... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. We can't win every time. That's we right. can't buy, you know... Amazing things. Amazing like things it. all the time. There has to be some things that we have to say a little critique about once in a while, you know? True. Yeah. yeah that's it. I mean, perfect. not everything's... Yeah. We're not going to say we love something if we don't. That's right. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyhow. Well, well I guess that's it. Yeah. I guess so. Anything else? Got a lot more Hopefully. stuff than Oh, my gosh. We're over two we hours. Over. Holy oh. crap. Bye. Well, it's been three weeks. You yeah, know, so. that happens. And a lot of craps happened, so we had to yes, talk about that. Yes, we did. But it was your birthday, so that was a good thing. There was that, too. That was a good thing. <laughs> that was a good thing. Definitely better than not having them anymore. Yes. Although, I mean, yes, but I'm totally looking forward to what comes next. Yeah, yeah so. exactly. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, more adventures, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, Hopefully we'll see you in two weeks. Yes, we'll try. Oh, and we haven't done the prompt yet for this. Oh, yes, we got your prompt. I wish I could remember what I was thinking when, I mean, I could say that. I could just leave that as the statement. I wish I could remember what I was If you go back and watch thinking. the whole entire podcast, it'll refresh your memory. Right, which I never do. Yeah. Um, well, then just whatever. Same old, same old. Just go view her site and tell us which colors you like. Oh, that seems boring. Well, she does have a lot of fun amazing. stuff. So she that would have, actually be She does have one. fun stuff. Yeah. And she she does beautiful work. So so this is what we're talking about. Yeah, so check that knits. And then the pretty stitch markers. Beautiful stitch markers. They are. They're really pretty. And you'll get some. Yeah. Not all. There might be a couple missing. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, so yeah, beautiful. just in uh, enter with your comment. 
or ask us a question. I know some podcasters have been doing that where they're like, ask me anything and we'll answer the question. And I was like, that'd be kind of fun. If anybody has anything that they want, like, it'd be fun to answer questions. That's always, you're always welcome to ask. Yes. I just can't imagine what anyone would want to know. I don't either. You know, but that might be a challenge for people. They have to come up with something to ask us. And then, but then they should go to her site too. So I don't know. So as usual, just comment with what you just want. Just whatever you want to do. We um, don't care. We really don't. But you just have to, We, although we're happy to hear from you, please let us know if you're not in the U.S. So we yeah. so we know that, you know. Yeah, you're not. Wah, wah. I know. Yeah, sad. I know. Sad. Well, I get to go work in a barn after this. So going to go change clothes. Not our barn. Get, not in your barn. Yeah. Yeah. Um, go get some boots on and go work out in the well, it's nice up. Yeah, good. at least there's last nice. weekend we did it and it was raining, so that was fun. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, right. fun times. All, All right. Well, nice. thanks for joining us mm -hmm. for the long haul here. You're probably Two watching hours. over We're several sorry. days. We're yeah. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. But, Gosh. What are you gonna do? I don't even think we talked about anything overly. All we did was complain about everything. Oh, well. Uh, we're sorry. Maybe next time we'll have some positive things to say. Hopefully. <laughs> we'll work on I'm our attitudes. Make, we'll make, <laughs> I'm an attitude adjustment. Yeah. Or we just need to go back to drinking. And we won't go get into any wrecks or, you know. Hopefully not. You know. I don't know. Oh, gosh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe alcohol is needed. I, I think it's better. Yeah. Not needed. Not needed. It's just a nice little perk. Yeah. <laughs> nice so the reason I come out here. coming out here. <laughs> exactly. She'll make me whatever it takes. Free bartender. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. my gosh. Whatever. Oh, and she brought donuts. I so. did. I brought donuts. That was fun. Yeah. yeah. All, All right, right, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>